everybody. It's me. It's me. It's Michael B. And thank you so much for joining me at a special time for a super, super special episode of Chill and Chat with Michael B. I can't wait for all the surprises I'm going to show you tonight. Hope you guys have fun. So I just want to take a quick minute. You'll notice that the chat bar is gone from the right side. I'm using a new program tonight. I haven't really figured out how to add that back in, but the regular chat is there. So I hope you guys have just as much fun with that. The big news is you guys notice I posted earlier this week. I'm looking for a co-host for the show. I added a new, new program that I'm going to be using for live streaming going forward. And I've got a very, very exciting co-host for you guys. You guys may know this person. He is a polarizing polarizing person in the arcade, home arcade community. He is from the state of California, lives there, and he very recently participated in one of the coolest online fights that a lot of us have seen on YouTube. You guys know who it is. The good doctor, Zohar Weisman. What's happening, Zohar? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it's me. How are you, Mike? Hi, I'm hi good, everyone. Man. I wanted to thank everyone to uh, you know for watching that video. I worked hard on it and it was really cool that John D was doing it and Rev Five was commentating. He's a beast, he's a master at it. So yeah, I'm just really awesome, grateful man. that that you're letting me be on the show. Yeah, so thank well, you for that. Zohar, thank you so much for being here. Zohar, what do you want to talk about, anyways? Uh, Mortal Kombat, duh. <laughs> well, I bought yeah, a I bought a MK2 uh, countercade, and I'm gonna do a review uh, next month. I got it from Direct, uh, from Arcade One of Direct, so they're gonna have it. Um, I think in like a couple weeks, so I'm gonna do a review, and it's gonna be pretty cool, and I can't wait. So, what so, else do you want to talk about? Uh, my Mortal Kombat cab. Remember this one, the MK cab behind me. Bobby yeah. Vu did that. Yeah, that's really nice. Bobby Boot, like, and it was so nice of him to do that. So yeah. do you wanna do you wanna talk about like your Street Fighter matchup you just had with John D that the community's all talking about? Not really. Oh. Well, do you want to talk about the Street Fighter cabinet? Not really. Oh. Can we uh, talk about so anyway, the MK2 counter that comes with MK1, 2, 3 also, because the other one came with Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. This one comes with three and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. So it's actually four games, not three games. So it's pretty cool. That is But cool. this cab behind me has like uh, 6,000 games and like 30 Mortal Kombat games. So that's pretty cool. So Harry, that you know is you awesome. Love it. You know yeah, you that is love it. awesome. Listen, uh, buddy, I'm really yeah. sorry about this, but uh, I, don't, I don't think this is going to work out. Are you serious? Why? Uh, I, I just... took a day off of work today. Uh, I, I'm very sorry, brother. I just, I just, I, I have a feeling. So thank you so much for being here. Please don't judge all right, me. All but... right, fine. No, it's okay. All, all right, right. That's fine. All see, right, bye. See you, Zohar. Well, guys, uh, maybe <laughs> having a co-host wasn't such a good idea. But luckily, I do have a backup. And I'm very, very, very excited to show you who we've got here today. This is someone I've been waiting to work with on YouTube for a very long time. Ladies and gentlemen, Retro Ralph! Michael B, what's up, buddy? <laughs> what's happening, brother? What's going on? <laughs> oh, you know, this is it, man. I, I've been doing this Monday stream for a while, and uh, yeah. it seems to be catching on a little bit. So I, I, I'm looking for somebody to help host it, and I've heard you've done such a good job all these years doing like Retro Ralph Live, One Up Weekly. I thought you'd be the perfect person, and we could talk about all the cool things in the home arcade space. You know, Arcade One Up, Act Games, II Arcade. Is that something that interests you? Well, not really. I mean, I I thought I didn't know that's what you were bringing me on for. Oh, well, what do you want to talk about? Well, I mean, thank you for asking me. I think, you know, it was the birthday of the Dreamcast a couple of days ago. We could talk about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Does that interest you? Yeah. Sort of. What else? <laughs> OK, well, um, the poly mega the poly mega ship, dude. That's huge, right? You have a game collection. You're into console stuff. You probably have like Sega Saturn discs and PS2 stuff or PS1 stuff. You're probably stoked about that. We could talk about that. And everyone wants to talk about the Polymega. Do, do they? <laughs> no. Oh. oh um, <laughs> do you got anything what? else? <laughs> uh, well, I got two more things if you hear me out. Yeah, yeah. All right. The next one, you're going to want to definitely talk about this one. I know okay. you. You're a hardcore console guy. And this is like, this. this is the one that everyone's waiting for. 
the Amico. Let's talk about the Amico. Right? Haven't really been following it. I think the world of Tommy Tellerico. <laughs> I grew up loving him, but I, I just I don't think that'd be a good Dude, one. Dude, you're for killing me. To talk. me. I, I know. I'm sorry. The last man. one you're definitely this one you're definitely gonna want to talk about. There's no doubt in my mind that you're gonna like this is gonna you're gonna stop dead in your tracks and you're like, this is okay. the one. Okay? okay. Guess what comes out tomorrow? What's that? Cruise and blast. Cruise and come on, go cruise and no. Uh, that, I'm sorry, man. That's not for me either. I, I don't I don't know what to say here. Dude, are you like not gonna have me as the host? Dude, I'm not gonna be the co-host. <laughs> Is this really happening right now? Are you like live know. gonna fire me? No, I'm I'm not gonna do that. We'll figure something out. Like you, you still like uh, talking about the home arcade stuff, right? Sometimes. You know what? You know what? All right. Okay. Michael B, I know a guy that will I know a guy that will definitely want to do this with you. Okay. And and I'm not it's, it's no hard feelings. I'll go, I'll go away quietly, but I know someone. So I'll leave. I'll have them all teed up. You can bring them on. And I'm telling you, he will be the one. I think. Perfect. I think he's the right one for you. Perfect. But I still love you and all. But I guess, like, I guess I'll just talk about the Amico and the Polymega myself. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> all right. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I don't, like I said, no hard feelings. I'll go. Right. I'll see all you right. later. I appreciate it. And uh, say hi to everybody else. And um, yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll talk later. All right. All right, so uh, I don't know who this is. Let's see who Ralph has teed up. Welcome oh to the Chill Chat with Michael B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is going on, Michael B, the game genie? This is so cool, Justin. I have waited so long to get to hang out with you, man. I don't know if you re realized recently, a lot of people in the community were throwing some vibes I out know. there that we should work together, right? I don't even know who you are. And everyone's all like, <laughs> you need to be best friends with Michael B. And I'm like, let me figure out who this guy is. I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, that'd work, hey? One in the chat if you want me to be the co-host. <laughs> But we've talked before. Obviously, I think you might know me, but I think we I have a couple. You. I think we have a couple of things in common. I've come to a couple of your late night streams where you're playing music. Yeah. And we have very similar tastes in music. Uh, you played uh, oh Interstate Love Song for me one night oh, by Stone Temple Pilots, and then uh, followed up right away with Cherub Rock. And I was here jamming oh, out Chair my Rock, house. Yep. Yeah, so uh, that was awesome. I think we have very similar tastes in music, man. That's right. We need a theme song, is what we need. Like if totally. we're gonna do this, we need a theme song. All right. I don't know. There's only one. So there's there's one song we gotta we we gotta make this the beginning of the show. That's what we'll do at the beginning of the show. We'll do a song like this, right? Right. I like it. Yeah. No. What? Dude, this is our song. What? No. Justin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Wait. Hey. What? You can't do that song. That's like our song. Yeah, but the one up weekly is over. No, it's it is. Is it? Well, is it? I don't know. Well, 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 <laughs> I, I can't. I can't be on two shows at the same time. Well, maybe, but you can't play that song. Okay, I'm gonna go back away, but do not play that song. Okay, just no, no, Michael no. B. I'm upset now. I'm, Ra right. Don't leave, Ralph. Don't leave, Ralph. Okay. I felt bad Fine. about what happened earlier. Maybe, maybe we, <sighs> before you go, we can all find a song that we could play and sing together something we all okay. like <laughs> we sing all it right. together okay yeah we'll find we'll find our own witchy woman i'm sure justin can come up with something he's pretty musically talented so i'm sure he could come up with something all right like justin, see okay okay michael b what how old are you i'm 40 dude i'm 40 yeah i'm older than it. you two dudes i know i didn't know you were I'm 40 the oldest i just one turned here? 40 yeah all right all right so I how far back do we need to go one i'm thinking Maybe in the 70s, like late 70s, early 80s. Okay. I got some. I got some. Okay. I got some. It's going to be good. This could be the intro for our show, right? All right. Okay. Here we go. Let me get it going here. I'm so waiting. much anticipation. It's coming. Oh. Yeah. I am Iron Man.
is going on? He can't hear us. I don't know. <laughs> no, he's just, he's just in a trance. I don't know. John's just jamming out. He's not even. That's not even him. It's like a cardboard cutout or something. I promise. Uh, right? Oh, it's moving. What <laughs> is up, y'all? What's up, everybody? Oh, wow. What the uh, heck? John is back. I don't know what to say right now. Who knew he was like the master of Street Fighter too? Yeah, man. <laughs> Speaking of which, thank you so much, John. This is so cool, man. Thank you so much for coming back and spending some time with us tonight. We're going to bring somebody else back here too. Zohar, we're going to move some people around too so they're in their right locations. Mm -mm. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. No, no. Justin's usually on the right-hand side, I think. Uh, you got to get that right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> thank you. There we go. Although there's a little bit of a distance. Do we, uh, can you squeeze us? No, all right, never mind. <laughs> hey, guys. How's everyone doing? What's up? Oh, man, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Too yeah, long, man. John. Too it's long. been a while. It's, it's been a while. You know, uh, over the weekend, I saw a massacre. I, really? I, oh, my gosh. You couldn't believe it. That's, like, not what uh, I, that's not what I saw, John. No, no, no. I, no, listen, listen. Before you go on, I saw a massacre. I saw uh, the Green Bay Packers. Get massacred, massacred by New Orleans Saints. Did you see that, MB? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, not everybody can face the Lions every week. <laughs> you got to face the Lions. You got to face the Lions, even though we're Detroit Lions. But, uh, yeah, it's great to be back, everyone. You know, I missed y'all. Missed you guys so much. So it's good to be here. Thanks for having me. I feel like I, I feel like you're over you're dressed up more than us. I feel like I want really? I, I got a sport coat on the floor. I can rock it too. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's well, dress it. I don't know. It's a nice occasion. Let me try to figure this out, John. Is this gonna be one of those shows where you change every five minutes? What was that all about anyway? <laughs> we still we still don't know. You know what? Play that video five years from now, then it'll make sense. I'm yeah. telling you, it'll, it'll all make sense. All John, make sense. look at this. Look at look at us. See, look wow. at that. I mean, you what even have I the wearing? same color. Is this yeah. okay? Coat. Can, can I wear this here or is that? That's no? cool. That's okay. okay. That's no, right. take it off. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah. Oh, yes. No, no, no. Oh, God. Don't. Okay, okay, okay. Don't, don't, don't do that. Me. I will do it. I mean, it's retro. I will do it for views. I will do nah, it. you'll uh, you'll lose a lot of subs that way, my friend. Yeah, sure. You're just starting out, dude. Don't do the shirt off yet. We just okay, came, we just came back. You don't want to ruin it. New video yeah. coming. New video <laughs> it, coming. It takes a while for that. It takes a while for that. Yeah. So, John, what happened? Where have you been to? Well, I took a break. I think everyone, you know, needs to take a break sometimes. I suggest everyone trying it. You know, uh, I mean, that's all it is. But baby, I'm back. <laughs> you can blame it all on me. There was something, and I just can't live without y'all. See, I can I can also demolish Zohar in a singing contest. Let's bring that karaoke. It'd be 10 to 1, just the same. Oh, wow. Well, you guys are going to make a karaoke machine? Is that what you're saying? Oh, Arcade, yeah, yeah. what a karaoke yeah. machine? We're trying to read between the oh, lines here, and there's right? something he coming. He just leaked Not a it on Michael B's show. karaoke machine. <sighs> <laughs> you know, I have I have actually yeah. seen someone make an arcade cabinet that had a karaoke machine as part of it. So that is it is possible. You yeah. could do it. You could do it. I mean, it's all, all it is is takes a microphone and YouTube and you got the full library of karaoke songs. I'm telling you. There you go. Yeah, that's what the micro SD card is about. <laughs> <laughs> we knew it that's wasn't. <laughs> it's awesome. That's not true. It's, it's, for, it's for your photo slideshow so you can show your family and there the trip go. to Oregon. Totally. Put your MOVs up there. You can, you know, it's like a TV. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for everybody doing this tonight. I can't thank you enough. And really, we're talking to John D here. John D the man, not John D Arcade One Up. So let's talk to John D. And mainly I want to talk to you about Arcade One Up. So <laughs> mainly <laughs> <laughs> oh boy but, let, let's talk about let's talk about the fight you had with zohar i think mm. everybody had a ton of fun this weekend watching what you guys fight? Duke it out what are you the, talking about he didn't the, fight me the very competitive very even oh, okay. fight that we all witnessed this weekend <laughs> okay okay you mean the, the, zohar supposed, with the supposed theories. fight that john actually fought me which i know he did not <laughs> okay you know the funny thing guys like zohar's not even kidding he's I'm come up kidding. with this He's come up with this conspiracy theory that someone played, you know, for, you know, instead yeah. of me. And uh, that's funny. But, uh, you know, I, I take it as a compliment 
and I'm honored that he says that, but you know, <laughs> it's, it's a little disrespectful for people like Justin Wong and really good players who actually can play so much better. So yeah, I mean, you know, come on, let's, may, let's may be I, real now. May I explain? Go may ahead. I explain? Okay, thank you. Yeah, good. You came, first of all, on that on the day of the fight, you were an hour late. I'm thinking, okay, whatever. He's an hour late. No big mm -hmm. deal. Then you're mm -hmm. a 10 minutes late, 15 minutes late. Mm -hmm. I even jokingly said, um, is he waiting for somebody? Is Are they stuck in traffic? Is there something going on? Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. I, 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 that was a joke. That was a joke. But mm -hmm. the next day, I saw a video. I'm not going to say who it's from because I don't know who it's from. Mm -hmm. But I saw you playing as Guile mm -hmm. in a completely different style very like passive aggressive and i'm like <laughs> that's nothing like what i just played that that's like a completely different john d so then i played oblivion i'm like and i played five games against oblivion and i'm like <laughs> wait a second that's exactly what john d felt like so i'm thinking hmm he was late an hour then late 10 minutes then 15 minutes then i saw a video of him playing as guile completely in a different uh completely different guile i'm like mm -hmm. okay John did not play me. Mm. And it's I a great know it's theory. true. And it's this okay. A... I understand wow. you don't want to get mm. beaten by an MK guy. I understand. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> I wouldn't okay. want to get beaten by an MK guy either, especially when I'm Mr. Capcom. Yeah. Everyone, so, he actually believes this to be true. It's 100% okay. true. Well, so, I mean, Zohar, what about like he could have different strategies and, and first of all for those of that don't know what we're talking about i'm sorry i always do yeah. this i have to let's do this do like, let's, let's there's 50 context, people in the chat context. that have no context right zohar's a youtuber now that's why he's here with us <laughs> and he makes really good content some of it's yep. controversial but it's all satire and if you actually understand the satire you'll love his content you'll get it it's funny but he had a great episode that he put together that was a competition between john d and zohar justin wong and so hard. But see, <laughs> keep going, Justin. Don't interrupt him. We'll we'll I'm get sorry. to that. I'm sorry. Sorry, Justin. No, I, I I think that's it. You know, I okay to John real yeah. quick. Mm. Can't you have multiple strategies? You see your opponent, and you're mm. like, ah, I see what moves he does. I'm not going to do any jumps. I'm going to always right. do these type of moves. Right. There's a. Everyone has to have a strategy until get hit in the face. Right. I mean, Mike Tyson said that. But especially when you're playing the Guile uh, Ken matchup. Usually in that matchup, you're not supposed to jump because that's unsafe, right? Um, but if someone's doing a like doing a really good fireball game me and zoning against me, and then if I jump in there, shoryukening, I don't jump. I have to play lame. I have to like turtle, right? You know. So you see me playing defensive. So you know, championship position is, is, is a footsie game and it's a zoning game. So if you see me like back uh, backed up in the corner it's because this good ken player i say good ken player has been just uh, <laughs> you know throwing fireballs and i can't do nothing and it's all about chip damage too chip downs you know i'd be getting chipped out so if you see me in the corner just like hiding it's because i can't jump and i'm just getting chipped out but then the other strategy is to play a really aggressive guy which i did against zohar right the first three rounds of that match i wanted to see what i could get away with so i was playing very loose i was playing you know very aggressive and then if he would actually counter for once or do a, fire, wow. a fireball for once or <laughs> wow. so you can for once, I probably wouldn't okay. be as aggressive. Why were you, you an hour late? I, okay, I was an hour late, and this is true. He's always late. <laughs> this is true. I am always late. But honestly, uh, if you look uh, Thursday night, my record was 3 and 9. If you look Friday morning, my record was like 45 and 43, right? I had played so many games to prepare for this match. And I think it was, uh, was it Thursday night. My hands started cramping up. This is no freaking lie. My you know what I think? You know what I think? The three and nine was was really you. And you're like, I can't do this anymore. My record, uh, my reputation is going to be tarnished. Justin, Oblivion, uh, Bobby Vu, come here. Play for me. And that's why you have 43 and 45. Because you couldn't go. No, 45 15, and 43. Whatever. Okay. Who can go on from three and nine? I would like that, to ask you a question be, uh, as as sort of a, an independent party here. I want to ask a question. And this is this and I'm not in no means trying to help either party here. I just want to know, I'm just for my own curiosity. Was anyone using illegal sticks? Nope. No, he would have used Sanwa or Hap because but he didn't know how to freaking uh you know mod it. He was he sent yeah. tweets all around saying, "Hey, so everyone's using stock sticks." 
Stock, yes. Yeah. And then he told me, he goes, hey, you know what? Let's just use stock sticks. And I said, dude, yeah. I was about to do that the entire time in already. I already said on that one video, I wasn't going to use San Juan's or, or anything. Now, so I want to call something only... out because observation right. wise, Zohar, I could Fine. tell. So so I know for me, it's it's not interesting. I'm not a professional player. I'm sure Justin Wong, you could give him like Mickey Mouse sticks and he'd be like, you know, no problem. Totally. But I, I have a problem like um, where on the stock one up sticks, like if I'm doing a Hadouken, I got to like. I gotta, I gotta like ride the rail a little bit more, or ride the you gate a little bit yeah. more, like than I normally would in like a hap, because a hap doesn't really have a gate, so I, it's like a, it's like a different motion. But I noticed you missed a couple, and I could tell that's what you were trying to do. So did I catch on that? Like when I was watching it, were you trying to do like Hadoukens a couple of times, but you couldn't? Me? Missed inputs. I couldn't, I couldn't yeah, like, do one uppercut, one Hadouken, or you can. Nothing. I'm not trying to, by the way, make no, this I a couldn't Zohar do any, loss. I, I literally, I knew every time he was going to jump, I knew he was going to jump. And then you see me doing this uppercut thing. Mm -mm. I couldn't even, mm -mm. I couldn't do the inputs. Okay, well, that's not really, I wasn't trying no, to lead us down this part path. Of it, but, no, 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 <laughs> listen to this. Part of it was that if you look at most of his whiffs, most of the whiffs because it was, you know, user execution. Some of his whiffs is because he didn't wait for like animation of frames to recover and so he thought he was missing inputs but it it didn't happen he was just not doing it at the right timing so it was two things because i played zohar once and thought i was a badass but he was using his joy cons and it looked oh, yeah. like he was just like taking a dump the whole time and i like kicked his ass and he like <laughs> and i was like yes i beat zohar but really his joy cons were all messed up yeah. it was, we played yeah. it on switch but then when yeah, he fixed yeah, yeah. it, he, oh, he kicked my butt. So. Whatever, John. It's okay. Like I think it was very good for the community. It was good for Street Fighter fans. It was good for um, you know Rev Five. He's by the way, he's a beast at commentating. Oh yeah, he's oh awesome. my god. It was very, it was very entertaining made, to watch. I must guy, say. I think I feel like he made the video what it was because of his totally. antics and his his humor and personality. He's the best ever. I've never I've never laughed so hard. But no. I think it was great for everyone all around for Arcade One Up for Big Blue for Street Fighter fans. So it's okay if John D used somebody else. It's not the point. The point of who won, who lost, that's not the point. It just kind of hurts that he doesn't want to give me that respect to fight me. After two years of begging him, so hard, and he doesn't want to fight. Michael B, Michael B is trying to get fight. us back like, on it's track. It's okay to lose. Zohar? In life, it's okay to yeah, lose. Hey, as hey, hey, Zohar, hold on a second. We should not have Mike B raise his hand yeah, in his own show. show. Oh, I didn't even see. I'm sorry, Mike. I didn't even Zohar, see. Zohar, Zohar, this isn't working out, bud. So I'm just going to take it. Really? <laughs> no. Oh. But it, it's okay, Zohar. We've uh, brought in a team of crack investigators. I don't know if you saw the movie King of Kong, but we're going to get the same two guys to go to John oh, nice. D's place of work to make sure he's not using performance-enhancing joints. So. <laughs> I think, John D, I think John D should play me at MK. I think it's only fair for him to come to my world on my turf. Okay, hold fair on, hold on. Fair. Hey, when that MK look, cab and John, cab will you, comes out, John, will you fair. play? Will you play uh, no. Zohar when the MK cab comes out? No, you know why? Because no one wants to see that shit no more. Uh, sorry, stuff no more. The guy got bodied ten to one, and, and listen, it wasn't By even ten though? to one. By who though? <laughs> Let me finish. By the best in the world. I'm not the best in the world. Okay, but, but but it was ten to one. But that didn't tell the true story. It was not ten to one. Uh, we played twenty three rounds. It was twenty one to two. Okay, after uh, I beat you twenty one to two, no one wants to ooh. ever see us fight again. So you know what? You can bait me all you want. You can say conspiracy right. theories. I'm sorry, but we this, ain't ever gonna track, fight again. Track, Unless you want to fight for money privately, we can do that. This track number two coming. <laughs> and, and, and it's all about MK and not being fair and being a cheater and all that all stuff. Right. All right. I, all right. I may, it may be a series of diss tracks. You know. So, so I, okay. I got an honest question for you, Zohar. Like, yeah. after the first five losses, uh, did you stop to think six. maybe I should after the first six losses? After after the first six I was losses. literally, I was literally looking at my baseball bat that I was going to use for the MK2 <laughs> counter kid review. I was looking at that and thinking, should I do a big blue uh, post review with a bat? That's what I was thinking. Can I ask uh, what you're going to test out to, that you require a bat for the counter case? Is it like some kind of thing that we don't know? I've never used a bat baseball bat for a review before, so I was just neither. curious. Like, what? Oh, okay. yeah, this is going to be a first for me, too. May I interrupt? Wait, look. So, so Zohar is my inspiration. My, I'm sorry. Last thing. Go. My inspiration was a twisted Chris. I know he's in the chat. I saw his uh, video of him beating up the Pac-Man, yeah. which is hilarious. Wait until you see mine. It's going to be, I'm going to have lighter fluid, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. You got to do something really creative. We're talking like liquid nitrogen. Like if you're going to oh. do it, do it right, man. So I have a question. How did we go from 
pretty much everybody hating on the big blue to it's freaking amazing because I have so much FOMO. It's it's right. Why is it, John? Can you help me out here? Because we're not talking about the future. And and I'm just talking to you, John, not as a representative of Arcade One Up. But how do we go from a, the 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 Photoshop renders to everyone's like this looks like a knife to to oh my god it looks amazing. And well, why does everyone have amnesia that the renders are renders? Like, I don't understand that either. Everyone's like, oh, the renders. It's terrible. I have a, hey, Ralph, let me, let me you follow of all up people should know renders are renders. I know. <laughs> that's what I mean. And I never said it. I stayed you back. I was like, people. I acted like, hey, I don't know. I don't like three quarter scale anymore. This is stupid. Yeah. I just went and did that. So I like backed and, away and did and it. It seems like up. we're slowly discovering more features. I haven't watched every single review that's yeah. out there, but I only recently learned that there's uh, what's it called? Like you can watch other people play mode. Yeah. What's that called? Uh, spectator, spectator mode. mode. Yeah. Yeah. Spectator mode yeah. What's up with that? That's okay. awesome. To answer your question, right? You know, sometimes when you release assets too early, it never goes well. Well, sometimes it doesn't go well, and that that, got, that goes for us, right? You know, we, uh, Big Blue was a freaking ugly cabinet in the arcades, even, right? And we're trying to make a three-quarter scale that looks like Big Blue, and of course, it's skinny and all that stuff. So, you know, I, I don't think the renders did it any justice. There was a lot of hot takes around the, you know, around the industry, around the YouTubers, you know, saying their piece. And even P-Dubs himself said maybe he should kind of quit on the, uh, you know, on the hot takes, which P-Dubs, you know, this outfit's for you, by the way. <laughs> but, but then, you know, when real life pictures start coming out and then real information start coming out, I think that's when people started giving it a chance. And then finally, when it started getting people's homes and, you know, 12 games online. All of well, them online. All of them online. What the back. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I think the online changed everything. Everything. I think so. Yeah. I mean, that I think that's big, white big team molding. White. Right? Come I mean, on. Let me let me show you the next level of. Um, I still don't get the wait, significance. Of is the that the killer thing behind him? I mean. What? Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's in all, was there the in whole time? all fairness, it's it's <laughs> next to it's next to cabinets without risers, so it makes it <laughs> no. look even more. It makes it look more phallic than that's it really is. That's the real is. height difference. <laughs> <laughs> so that is big blue. Yeah. Right. I mean, I guess that's what it is. Some people just have to wait and see. Uh, you know, not all the information is always out. Actually, there was an update today at 530. I don't know what that was about, but, uh, you know, you guys will figure out something that happened to 530 piece, uh, PT. What is it? Standard. What? what is it? I don't know. But, um, oh my you know, God. I mean, sometimes information just comes out and, and people start playing it. And then that's when the real review should come out when you actually start playing it and and that's why zohar you know wanted to test the online features and this is part of the reason i finally accepted his challenge but by the way zohar you were talking so <laughs> much smack yeah. like i was going back to all the videos i know i know i know and then let me um if, if oh, I may, geez, because, he's got transcripts he's like yeah, oh, I I out. you said <laughs> on this day okay. you oh, are geez. not <laughs> come on <laughs> come on come on come on let, let me go i mean look I, I i haven't had an opportunity to talk smack okay you oh were doing God. most of it no 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 do i need to be here for this one yes yes no but it's not just for you okay 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 well, um so historical I, significance yeah so i, I want to thank everyone <laughs> who's helped me out with this match. I took it very seriously. Like I said, my coaches, um, Valle, uh, Jay Wong, uh, Jay Bailey, my, my uh, sparring partners, Jen Mint, Turbo Joe, Overthink Gaming, uh, Rob Casal, who won the bet on my behalf, gave $100 to the St. Jude uh, Foundation. UAG actually said I would win Jersey Style Twisted Gaming. Thank you for that $100 as well. Uh, Lewis Chambers, yeah. uh, Keon 718 NYC, Kongs Russ. Thank you so much. For you know, believing me. By I'm the way, the you're welcome. Justin, you're can welcome. you play some like Academy Awards music? You know, you're they play welcome. People yes. off. <laughs> On the other <laughs> hand, uh, you know, the, the people who voted for you, uh, Herb Wars, Rainwater, and this one up, Dr. Freeman 777, you do owe my charity $100. Which will deal zero hero says, doesn't I don't play, I'm telling you. 8 Bill Vinyl, Papa's Brad Gaming. Kev Regret, Tony C, Ringer. Ringer. Hollywood Ringer. Polo, VC, uh, Evil Genius, all that stuff. Imagine Ian says, I don't even play video games. But you know what? I just do want to thank everyone <laughs> for this Ringer opportunity I think you're and for this big win. Oh, my God. Give me wow, a break, Wow, I can hear God. the crowd. I can hear them. <laughs> John, there's like thou there's millions and millions of screaming fans. You hear that? Wow. That's insane. <laughs> 
Michael B, you cut. You I, got like all, big budget on this I, thing. I, would, <laughs> I know. Man. I would love Sp- it. No expense. <laughs> I would love it if people watched it, my review again and really studied how Guile was fighting, and then compare that to uh, all the Oblivion matches that you guys can have on Big Blue and see how similar. I'm so honored that is. you think I fight like Oblivia, but he can like body me 10-0 easily. Uh, <laughs> I, beat him. I beat him last night. I beat him one. So oh, good. Yeah, you beat so me I'm once, so there you go. You mean uh, I beat him once, twice? You know. Uh, okay. So. Oh wow. I mean, you just say yeah. there's no way you can ever win <laughs> even one round, but it ended up being 20, 21 to two or something like that. So. Okay. By the way, think, by the way, we played oh, so boy. much, and, and the, no, 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 I'll, I'll be nice. <laughs> I'm gonna raise my hand. No, for the, wi- the, <laughs> the Wi-Fi connection though is amazing. By the way, yeah. there was not one hiccup. I'm watching the spectating mode, Thank which you. is a great feature. Not one hiccup, and it's not even through the Ethernet or Ethernet, whatever. It's through Wi-Fi. It, it's not Ethernet. one hiccup. Ethernet. Ethernet. I don't there know what go. the Ethernet is. That's just Russian. That's that was his Russian accent. Ethernet. Sorry. Ethernet. 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 Wait, hold on. Mike. Ethernet. Mike. Ethernet. 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 There's no Ethernet. But Mike, no, do you amazing, say Ethernet in Canada? Amazing. Uh, amazing we say Ethernet. Uh, connections. Oh, see, even Michael B. says it right, so whatever's <laughs> so hard. <Yeah. laughs> so I, I, I had no doubt that this was going to be a hit in terms of how the playability was going to be because like, I've been living that X-Men versus Street Fighter life, right? So you guys already perfected it with that one. Moving over to Street Fighter was going to be easy peasy. So this is not surprising. What is surprising is how many people have turned completely around in their view of not just how cool the cabinet is because of the 12 games, but now everybody's like, it's beautiful. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. what's so surprising. Well, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Like I said, yeah. when I went to arcades, I didn't like that big blue. That shit was huge and what, just clunky. What would you, know what, what, what you like more, Z-Back or the big blue? Oh, my gosh, they're both ugly. But, you know, big blue is yeah. like the ugliest thing. But it, it meant a lot to me going to the arcades and, and yeah. you know, and then so – you know, for people who remember that, you know, it is about bringing bring back the nostalgia. I mean, you know, a lot, at least I think 50 percent of our cabinets is based on the art and the nostalgia. You know, so. <laughs> I, I think, though, the thing about Big Blue, it may have been <sighs> ugly, but it like in the arcade, at least it, it spaced people out. So you yeah. felt like it was like really a competition cabinet. That's what I it felt was. like. The one in the arcade, at least it felt like a real competition cabinet. And hey, Ralph, did you see that that Big Blue eight player uh like tournament edition have you seen that where it's no, like I, eight, I have. oh yeah look, look it up i mean oh, we that's also, cool capcom also so, made that so you've like, been looking at eight, that lately is what you're saying john oh, for some reason player. it's <laughs> coming eight player on confirmed. michael b street confirmed you gotta, be rich, you gotta be rich like justin to there's afford 600 youtube, set up and buy 600 youtube customer. videos right now that just got posted michael b's yeah. show leaked Big blue seven player edition or whatever. <laughs> Michael B's so good, he just released a video on it right now while That's on right. the live stream. Yeah, he can do it actually now. <laughs> and Zohar's making a diss track about exclusive. that video right now. It's an exclusive. Can I ask a question, please? Oh. I just really, can I ask a question, please? Go ahead, Zohar. Okay, Go ahead, thank Zohar. you so much. God bless you. Um, the S, what, what's up with the SD card? Can you just give me something? Yeah, yeah you, you, something? Put, you put SD cards in it. <laughs> Oh my god. It's, a, it's, god. An MP, it's an MP3 player or something or yeah. Future there's something up with that. I know something's up with it. Just whatever. You load up the Napster app and you can just get It's it's get kind going. of funny. I was Ralph and I were talking about this earlier. It was like it seems as though the Big Blue is the beginning of everything we've ever asked for. They're finally doing yeah. except for the buttons and sticks. I have to throw that in there because <laughs> you didn't do that. But we yeah. were like, what's up with the weird USB that you're using that nobody has? You got to get dongles. And you're like, just get dongles. And now it's like, oh, USB-A. Oh, everyone has that. You know what I mean? And then there's here, an SD card. Wait, we didn't even really ask well, and, for that one. And you know what's really cool, something. though? I was impressed by this, John. I got to say this. This impressed me. I turned on the, I turned on the big blue, and it did a day one update. Day just, one update? Psh, and it just did it, and I was like, that's Pops what they should have been doing a while yeah. ago. It was nice, yeah. and it just went smooth. And that that's cool. I like that. I think that's it a good me, step in the right direction. It Props to Babe me, and Jay Wong. They're professionals. They know how to do day one updates. They know how to QA. You know, I got to give yeah. them props. It makes me want to get yeah, the MK cool. now because now that I know the online is going to be the way it is, I'm actually interested in the MK. What online. MK, Zohar? But there what? isn't an MK. Yet. Whatever. What MK? 
I'm never going to, we're never going to make an MK. I knew you were going to say that. Again. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. You know, because see, if you say no, you Zohar's like, Q Scott B video from One Up Weekly, episode exactly. 55. We hear you. We hear you. We know what you want. He remember, I <laughs> damn quote it. Video. He can quote it. We're going to make the buttons, the cap shake, cue the vape. <laughs> and all the cap shape is oh, everything, and we're going to make it right. We're going to make it right. There's one thing you don't want to piss off. Is that's Zohar. Don't piss off Zohar. Okay, watch. Just track number four coming. Yeah, the, the, there, there, there is a special announcement we are going to make here tonight, guys. There is another version of Street Fighter 2 Big Blue that is coming out that you guys didn't know about. Me and John talked about this. So it's the special John D edition. Mm. When you take him on and he beats your ass, there's a puff of vape smoke that actually comes out <laughs> at you. <laughs> That's what the ear jack. No, no, no. Ear jack. That's what it's for. You're gonna see a little smoke coming out for the earphone jack. No, no, no. When you get beat, when you get beat, Justin Wong comes out of the cabinet. It's just me. Oh, it's over. It wasn't John oh, wow. Wong. Jeez. It was Justin Wong. You got tricked. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 that's a that's an honor uh, and i'm very flattered that you say that i watched someone say so i don't know what review it was but someone said something and i was like i would never look at that and think this someone's like the headphone jack looks like a toilet bowl i'm like it looks like a headphone jack who i don't remember who rev what review i watched but someone it's said a vape it hole. Like a it's a glory vape <laughs> <hole>. <laughs> oh, whoa whoa <laughs> Hey, let's not have another uh, pac-man stick comment uh, oh i got it i people, got it people still the remember update that today was so that you can sm you can talk smack to other people boom figured it out Wait, is that no. actually real? That, that that is technically right. Oh, I have an idea. <gasps> Wait, I have is that idea. actually real? No, seriously, because that's actually pretty freaking cool. Not is on that the big actually going to happen? Oh. Not on the uh, big oh. I'm a genius. Okay. Okay. I am a genius. Okay. I have such a good idea for you. Justin, you just ruined it for a I ruined it. I'm not the even millions. joking. I'm not even joking. I swear to God, this is not a joke. Hey. You sh your next cab, Wi-Fi, whatever, they should have like cameras so we could see each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we like can confirm little... who you're playing. Right. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Could be like a little thumbnail, like a little camera. Like how much is a camera? Hey, wait, hold no, on. I'm hold being on. serious. I'm being well, serious let's, for once. Let's That's what the this... USB port's for. Let's I'm put this uh once. let's let's put this subject uh to rest. Now uh, I'm gonna interview you real quick, Zohar. Did I <laughs> or did I not, right before our match, say we should go on Zoom? Yeah, but you knew I was going to say no. That's why you asked me. Come on. Because oh, well, all right. Members yeah, of the jury. Are. This isn't looking okay, Members for you, of the buddy. jury. I rest no my No further case. questions. Okay, hold on. I, I, I have a suggestion for Mike. Uh, what if we do a poll? Who oh, thinks? God. Oh, please. John versus me. You know how many people hate me? A real not poll or a one or zero poll? Everybody hates oh, me boy, It's not John all about wins. you. John wins. All right. <laughs> Fine. They are we going to do an official one. poll? Camera's or... a good idea, though. You know camera's a good idea. To the next On the next generation, have little cameras. I think cameras would be the weirdest. That you'd log on and Why? you'd see the weirdest crap. Because people oh, would do yeah, weird right. stuff. You no, know There's a lot of privacy issues, like from a technical yeah. and I don't even want to see on the other end, to be honest. All right, fine. You're right. Yeah. Never mind. There's a lot of issues from a licensing standpoint and the legal right. and all that that we have to go through. It's not that it's not possible. It is definitely costly. But there's other ways to do that. Like, call your friend, FaceTime him, Zoom him. There you go. Verify that's the person you're playing. All right. So was it John? I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. This, I, I'm, I'm a very good acting co-host, by the way, Mike. So <laughs> See, thank you. He Joe. knows how to bring everything no. back together. Uh, I, I said there's no, a special the there's a special message here in the super chats from a gentleman by the name of Stringer Films who said you mm. missed his FaceTime today. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. So uh, me and Stringer Films usually FaceTime about every day. Uh, <laughs> just talk about arcade games, talk about this and that. And and sorry, Stringer Films, I was not able to, you know, have our daily FaceTime. <laughs> but tomorrow. People we'll think that's a running joke, but I have a feeling they're basically pin pals, right? Uh, like daily. Yeah. I know. I think so too. There's like a something going on there. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Glenn's retro show has a very good reason as to why uh, there would not be cameras on an mm. arcade one up. So uh, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Yep. Yeah, no one wants that. See. How many subs? No one, no one wants to see real life teabagging when I'm teabagging. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Big, Sean. big blue will be big You're blue balls, so mean, and no man. one wants that. <laughs> You're mean, dude. NBA Jam update voice chat with headset. I can neither confirm nor deny that feature that came out at 5.30 p.m. PST. <laughs> oh, my exactly God. At that Dude, time. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Now I'm excited. And we're talking about updates for games that have been released over a year ago. Yeah. And that's a good touch. You know, so, everybody's going to go now on that big blue and, and see if, 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 it's, if it's legit. 
Mm, it's not on the big blue right now. It's for NBA Jam. Oh, it's for NBA, it's Jam. NBA Jam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it, honestly, the NBA Jam community, like that's going to be a big plus because it's fun talking to people, especially in teammates. Like we did it one time. We played NBA Jam on a stream, and like we were all in each other's ear, and that adds such a big element to the game that you don't get when you're just sitting there playing yeah. by yourself, right? You know, so, it's like really, it's innovative technology that Xbox did in 2003. <laughs> innovative. <laughs> <laughs> I do but think it, the video thing would be a bad idea, though. I'd say, I'd say I think so, too. The, yeah. I think so, good. too. Yeah, Zohar, no. See, look, Zohar's always looking at his phone. You know what would be cool, I, mean, I have fans. I have five <laughs> fans. Five. He I, always I does that. Would be cool. And 100 haters. Okay. I got an idea. I think someone would think this is cool. This is just this should be an easy addition. It'd be neat if, you know how you can do your little, like, player icon it'd be cool if you could use a picture of yourself or something else like you could import a picture somehow i know there's probably what? some infrastructure you'd have to build for that like justin could write use that. an sd card and put your picture justin could write that code that. in like 15 seconds but i'm just oh, saying like man. wait what oh, did we just discover what the sd card's for no that Damn was a it. joke that was a joke hold oh, on oh, i'm getting a phone right. call <laughs> <laughs> and i'm wondering if you're gonna get Stop. in trouble after this show Stop. we're trying to uh, so, he's gonna uh, get in trouble john I, I i do have to ask you some questions from the sure. community so sure. um there's a lot of people asking about the attack from mars and the pinball update so what i want to know is what's your favorite pinball game my favorite pin well i don't play pinball games Nah, uh, too bad okay Sorry. we got another we got another question here sure. people asking about a proposed terminator 2 cab mm. what's your favorite arnold schwarzenegger movie uh kindergarten cop Ooh, that's a good one. Correct Maybe. answer was Last Action Hero. Oh, my bad. Total, my bad. Recall. It's not total the Tuma. Recall. It's not the Tuma. You didn't get my joke. Total Recall. Get the joke. Recall. Yeah. Total Recall. Okay, never mind. No. Yeah. <laughs> California, everyone, please vote against the Recall. September 14. Okay. Sorry. I don't even know what's happening. No, you guys missed my joke. Total, total Recall. Recall the fight that me and John had. Okay. Well, oh, I thought you were talking about that. Okay. No, no one wants to see fight. that fight. Recall no the fight. All right, fine. Whatever. I'll shut up. No one wants to see that fight. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so John, else? John, give give me two seconds. Don't just blink face. I'm going to say something. Don't respond to it. What's going on with that centipede cab, guys? Like, I saw that on Instagram. Mm -hmm. That was cool looking. Like, it looks super genuine. Like, the coin doors look real, but they're not. But they look stupid real, right? I'd like to say that nothing Whoa, is confirmed. Talking. Until, uh, until it's officially it conf officially confirmed. We've heard this before. Right, David? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the date. Yeah, right. Hey, yes, Mike, uh, I super chatted. David, I super chatted, Mike. Mike. Oh, you super chatted, Zohar? Let yeah, me see I if super I can chatted. Find it. See, that's power. Super chat and tell super chat and be on live to tell them about the super chat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I, I don't see it right there, Zohar, so, but as soon as it comes up, I'll Justin, bring it up. Justin, you sent me that, but I never asked you where you got it from. I never, I didn't actually see that. Was that, where was that? It's in all the Facebook groups that you're not in anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's been on, no joke though, seriously. Life has been so nice without being in the groups. I, I, cause I get my information elsewhere. You know, maybe it's a little bit slower. I have to find out here live, but. I'm not getting bombarded with stuff. Like now I actually see if like family members like are having like birthdays totally. and stuff. Word. Yeah, Same. I can see my family again now. It's good. Same. I took a break off it for a while too. I mean, you know, everyone should unplug sometimes. You got to see yeah. how it is. Like some people do it when they're camping and it's like three days and people go out of their mind. But if you do it for a long, <laughs> if you do it a long period of time, you'll see how much it kind of helps you. To kinda, and also just to let you refocus about life, family, everything else. I mean, Agreed, man. it's uh, it's really beneficial. John D, the, and that uh, is your COVID <laughs> PSA for today. The people, the people have spoken in the chat. They want Street Fighter Three. It's unanimous. I want Street Fighter Three. I can't play that game though. On I'll an SD card though, like on an SD card, and we'll pay like twenty nine ninety nine, or like I'll pay I'll pay thirty nine ninety nine for for the file. You know what's so crazy about this community that I it, it cracks me up kind of because I was probably part of this too at some point, but like we get something that we've asked for forever, and like instantly <laughs> sixty seconds later, we're like. Bam, What's John, next? where's where's Alpha What's Three? This? You're like, what? Like, dude, I just I just gave you Big Blue with online games. You're like, nope, not good enough. Give me more. And you're like, dude. why the tease though? Why the SD card tease? But why? why what makes you think it's a tease? Uh, yeah, what you? What is that about? I'm like, gonna go well, just in console I'll, kits on you right now. I'll tell now. you Ready? what it is. You, can you I do you real? Is? Can I be you real quick? Because sure. this is what you would say. Okay. This is a Justin answer. You'd be like, guys, 
these PCBs come in different forms, and this one just happened to have the SD card slot on it, and it was cheaper for us to get that one, so we, you know, that's the one we got. Does it do something? Yeah, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but we weren't gonna like not get it because it was the it was an easy option to get, and so that's what we did, and Why it doesn't not? really serve a purpose, but you're, maybe we'll. <laughs> you're close. You're close. <laughs> Arcade One Up is investing in future proofing their cabinets. Oh, so you said they're it so putting before. features that are on the PCB that they haven't even thought of yet. I mean, why not have an IR, uh, like an arcade one up store and have like $20, $30 games that you can do, like future expansions? Have Street Fighter 3 and then another Street Fighter 3 and another one, then Street Fighter Alpha, no. then X Men versus Street oh, Fighter. They're going to have this new so generation, whatever you call it. I'd love to like, like be on a fly on a wall at arcade one up so I could actually learn your internal terminology, but we have to make up our own. So the 19th generation of arcade one up, that's what this big blue is. <laughs> Is they're hoping to sell about three million of that generation, and then ten years from now, they have a field of cabinets that they can sell games to. You know, it's all about market penetration. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Data. You know, being able to be future proofed. Remember when um, Gauntlet, right? Gauntlet came out, and there was no uh, oh, any yeah. way to update that, and all of a sudden you got stuck at a certain level. That sucked. They want so, three ways to update the cabinet. Yes, Gauntlet exactly. Gauntlet was cool, though, because you could do the little solder hack on Gauntlet. That was fun. Right, right, I got a right. kick out of that. He's like, but yeah, I'm, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what to talk about. I wasn't there. <laughs> I wasn't there at the time. Yeah. Oh, actually, I don't think you were there yet, right? No, I wasn't. But no, I, you weren't there. I, I wasn't there at the time, but I heard about it, and I was, and then I go, Scott, why the hell didn't we ever have like this? He goes, well, we, we didn't think about it. But uh, now we are starting to you know, think about what we should have in the future, and the more people that have these cabinets and you know are able to – have different ways to put information in and out of it, then it's beneficial for everyone. And we'll see. I mean, you know, we're not a multi kit company, but uh, we are a video game company and we are yeah. also a software developer now and, yeah. and uh, you know, just big things in the horizon. But uh, I, I always stick on that point that you guys aren't a multi kit company. Mm -hmm. And it, it fascinates me because people want to buy arcade one up and they're like, I want more games on the cabinet. But yet then they're the same people that complain that are like, oh, well, you know, there's horizontal and vertical games combined on this cabinet. That doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. The controls don't match. If you want accurate controls and accurate screen ratio, you know how you get that? Less games. Maybe even only one sometimes. That's how you <laughs> get that. And people mm -hmm. are just like, well, I want more games. Go buy a multi cade Arcade one up can be something that has multiple games but mainly i think we're all buying it because we like the art and we like the idea of having a classic arcade in our homes so uh, it, it's just i'm always fascinated when they're like needs more games well it's for, it's it's a 49.99 49 49.99 for street fighter 3 <laughs> so here's here's what i think their new model is and i think it's you start noticing people you know there, there's this huge community of the generation arcade one-ups uh, generation one like the mod right i mean retro ralph created an entire entire channel where the content majority for the for his first year was modding those cabinets right and now we're hearing from people like oh i ain't modding the big blue the big blue that's saying vanilla yeah and why would more, you mod it yeah why would you mod it and now, now you're doing something right i mean not that, that you were doing true. something wrong before but, but you're talk, definitely on the right track but we, we talked about that before we said there's going to be a point where the cabinets are going to get so good that they're going to add features that didn't exist in the cabinet when it originally was created that you're not going to want to mod it because it's going to be some feature that you really want and the mm -hmm. the online feature is that thing i mean you're not gonna you're you not gonna mod, mod it because it's so fun and maybe to... if you worked really hard you could you could get some of those features but they ain't going to be turnkey and it's not going to be you know easy to do and and those features are not readily available on any of those uh you know modding platforms anyway yeah. so this and i've always thought that I, one of the things that i i, I will say is like the biggest benefit is that you turn it on. Like I turned on that cabinet, it did its update, and I was on there looking for people to play without knowing anything. I just turned it on and I did it. And I think, you, Michael, but you talk about this a lot. It's like the multi cade cabinets are really cool, but sometimes they require you to do a bunch of stuff to get to some outcome where we're older guys, but you don't have that much time to tinker sometimes. So you just want to play. Yeah. And when you want to play, it's a good solution to just want to go turn it on and, and do your thing. I just think that's a big that's a big benefit to just you know we don't have, we're we're freaking old dudes. Well, apparently I'm older than you guys, which is no, like, you're not. Kind of no, no, I'm, old, I'm older than no, you. No, I think it goes. I think it oldest. goes. You. I'm actually oldest. I'm 76. By the 76, way. 72, <laughs> 76. 79. Yeah, 79. Yeah. I'm the same so wait, age as goes, Bobby Vu. I'm the same age as Bobby Vu. So it goes John D, Zohar, me, and then is it Michael B and Justin's the youngest? I'm July. 
July what? <laughs> 80, 81. We're both 81, right? I'm I'm October 80. Oh. Oh, oh. okay. Oh, so, wow. so you are the youngest, Jesse. Baby face. I, I thought you looked so yeah. young. No, oh, Michael B. John D, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask you this, and I know you're probably not gonna be able to give me the answer, Juan, but I hope you can give a good answer because people are always asking this. When you guys took your break, you took your break specifically, and our cave one up kind of went away. There were these price increases that mm. obviously were caused by issues, the pandemic, different things like that. But everybody mm. is up in arms. They they kind of want some kind of a, like yeah. question answer from you guys about the price increases, and, and they're not going to rest. So right. I, I I know that you probably can't give them an official answer, but maybe you can just tell people what you feel as a consumer yourself. Uh, is that an okay thing to do? <laughs> for sure, for sure. I mean, you know, it sucks when you know. There's increases in prices of anything. Like, I just went to get some gas, and honestly, this I live in the Bay Area, Silicon Valley. Everyone knows that. I paid five dollars and twenty five cents for a gallon of gas. Right? Prices are crazy right now. We're talking about seventeen inch BOEs are just like out the door. Like, like, mm. like for what they cost from last year, and and also container costs and shipping costs, and even wood. You know, it's not like you know lumber. It's you know MDF. That's that fluctuates and chip sources. I mean, look. If Apple and Sony, and Microsoft can't get chips, you, and then there's Yahweh and everyone else, and then us, yeah. you know, it's commodities. Like computer chips, is like it's like pork fat. It's commodities, right? And and sometimes like you know things are just so expensive. And I understand when people complain when there's like, hey, I'm not getting the value of this and that. So we're trying to add value. There's ways that we're trying to add value to our products, like online play, maybe better MDF. Uh, so it's just like, uh, you know, that's the best I could say about that. I'm hoping that prices stabilize. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we appreciate everyone's patience. We're hoping that the final experience that you do have, uh, you know, is a good one that's worth it for you. And we understand if it's not. So. Are you leaking the, the Thomas the Train baby cade right now? <laughs> <laughs> I love baby no, cades, no, no, no. man. I'm like, hey, you know that Justin, baby Justin, case, Justin Wong is coming for the next uh, battle. That's what yeah. Uh, I think, I think. <laughs> Like a fair statement would be that um, you guys probably aren't very happy about the price increases either. This is not something that you want. I mean, it, like if this is something that you have to do, and I'm probably going too far right now, but I'm going to go anyways. But I mean, that doesn't really help you grow if you got to put your price price up to a point really quick. Look, so it, it's all about supply and demand. Yeah. Right. I mean, when prices go high, the demand goes low. When yeah. prices go low, the demand goes high. We understand. I would rather. We would rather. So, so many units that everyone can, you know, can just go get it. And, and that's how it goes. We're not in that economy. We're not in that reality right now. Other companies may be able to put $100 discounts, but they're not doing the volume and they're not taking the losses up for cost, everything else that we are. So, I mean, it's just, it's just things that are happening right now. I, we want prices to stabilize. I'd like to sell a hundred thousand big blues. Who would it? But, you know, uh, just, you know, be patient, pick and choose what you want. No one's going to buy every cabinet, you know, sell a cabinet, get one, whatever you want to do. Some might. You know, no, you know I didn't want to I'm trying that. to. <laughs> Justin <laughs> can buy a whole house. By adding, you know, that's what, that was his solution. Justin, because, well, you know, I, I need a big blue. I need an eight-player big blue. And he'll buy your own house and, like, you know, accommodate. Not, not everyone can do that. So what I'm saying, just, you know, I hate when prices go up. Everyone hates when prices go up. But what Arcade One Up is trying to do is trying to add value to it. Okay, so you know that's I guess that's all I should say about this uh, point. And uh, I, I'm thankful, you know, that everyone's giving their feedback and, and thank you. Yeah, I, I think um, Sling Spade's got a good comment here, and I know you probably can't give an answer on this either. But you, a game that I'm very fond of that I think would be an awesome addition to an arcade one up cabinet if you ever wanted to consider it is Robotron. Robotron 2084 is one of those ones that arcade collectors salivate over. So, you know, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm taking notes. <laughs> All right. Well, and they had a Williams multi at some point. I can't remember what that board was, but there was like a Williams multi that had like a lot of the Williams games and like the button, they made it work with the button layout. So like, it's not impossible if you can, if you can figure out the licensing. And I think there's, maybe that's not like this huge demand thing, but for like the eighties no. lover, it definitely is something that they would buy up. Well, you know, you know I mean, William games are great. Williams are, are great. Uh, Look, I can't really officially comment on things that, uh, you know, that are being considered or not considered yeah. or anything like that. Um, 
But you have to also, you know, from a licensing standpoint, you have to see where these rights are held together and who owns those. And like, you know, I saw Berserk was on that, you know, uh, lineup that a fan that these fans won. Berserk is owned by actually Gary Stern. So there's a lot of things that you know you have to consider. Ric Flair. Yes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Nature boy. Woo! It's old. Just an old joke, but still, still hits. Uh, I was there. Um, remember? I was there. <laughs> yeah. I was there. Right. Hey, right. so Rainwater's coming at you with a little bit. He's like, hey, you know what? You guys have been pussyfooting around. Uh, I'd like. He's saying he wants um you to stop bundling. He wants uh. Mm. He wants things without the stool and the light-up decks and all that stuff to kind of save on I, price. I have a theory. you got to flip it the other way around. Costs are really high, and they're like, let's add value. Just throw a whole bunch of stuff in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to double, double down on what Justin said. Like, here in Canada, uh, we have, uh, like, I pre-ordered X-Men, which is 829, but Simpsons was actually released, and it was without the stool, without any extra bonus features, it was still 799 So, you know, for just $30 hmm. more... I'm getting a stool with my X-Men order. So obviously they're not just adding these things in there to up the price. They're adding it in to add that extra value, like John talked about earlier. My counterpoint would be, I think there's certain people that don't think that the stools are valuable, I think. Well, I guess. I don't, and, and then there are other people that say, I'm trying to be a little bit hard hitting because I heard people talking smack. So John, you know what's up with those lame light up deck protect? I don't know. I just, the deck protectors. For, <laughs> you want me to if, there's, that? if there is one thing that i gotta like and this yeah. is just me personally because yeah. i've talked to people that like love the light up deck protector so for yeah. me personally i don't i don't think it's anything i don't I turn them like. on just turn them off i didn't even turn plug them mine on no but i think what people are saying is they're like hey if you could get rid of those would that make it cheaper but it kind of sounds like maybe it really wouldn't so it's like you're getting it anyway sort of thing some will have I have no idea what I'm talking some, about right now. No, I, I know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say, oh, you're adding some things that people don't want and value and artificially increasing the price, right? We, what we're trying to do is to add value to a situation that we're, that's happening right now. We do hope that there are some SKUs that don't have bundles and that you can get it. I, I miss those 299 packages where it has no oh, yeah. visor, has no uh, light up deck, has no, uh, you know, marquee, and it was just a base product. But if I wanted a, uh, you know, lit marquee was as another fifty, seventy, eighty dollars. And if I wanted, you know, this and it's another that, and you know, it's. We're, but again, it's like it's supply chain issues. Like you can't make, we can't skew out hundreds of skews yeah, yeah. anymore. You know, it, so yeah. yeah. So one of something crazy since you talked about the two ninety nine is is I remember when when there was like little to no information about these. I saw it like on my Facebook feed and it pulled up and it was a Street Fighter cabinet. And I'm like, what the heck? A Street Fighter cabinet for three hundred bucks? And like they weren't available yet. But I remember going to Walmart and and like it didn't hit the street date yet. And I like convinced the manager to sell it to me. And I got I she's like, yeah, you can put it in the cart. So I wheel it all the way up to the front. I'm like, I'm getting the Street Fighter, baby. And it's all doo -doo, and it's all ask for manager approval. I'm like, because like I convinced the little like store. Bring out. <laughs> yeah, I convinced the lady in like right. electronics to give it to me. But then she's like, we're going to have to get the store manager. And they're like, we can't break the street date. So anyways, I had to wait a couple of days. But I didn't even know there was a riser then. I didn't even know a riser existed. And when I got mm -hmm. it home and set it up, I was like, it's got to be something. It's got to be taller than this. The picture showed the, you know. So anyways, at the time, it was like funny because now a riser is a standard thing. And then it was like something you had to think about buying, yeah. you know. But, but you know, the riser didn't, that idea did not come from us. That idea came from the community, you know. And it's funny that uh, we got to work together on this, right? You know, when we see things that light up, the light up deck protector didn't come from us. That came from the community, yeah. people modding it. And so we go, you know what, let's see if this works. Let's see if this sticks with people want, you know, the marquees. So, you know, let, let's put that up, you know, all that, that stuff. But uh, yeah, we get it. We yeah. hear you. Don't don't think we don't because there's been some sort of silence or whatever. You know, we, we've been trying to reach out to different groups and everything else. Uh, but, you know, baby, I'm back. Do you guys all hear something? I just very, can't live without you, community. Do you it's guys very all hear clear remember when you couldn't get a riser? Like you literally oh, couldn't yeah. get oh, them. Yeah. Like they were so hot that you couldn't even find them. I had to I use paid, Justin's app to find stuff. Yeah, I paid uh, close to two hundred and fifty dollars to get one shipped in from the U.S. <laughs> I couldn't buy them here in Canada. Yeah, that's true. You are a crazy. I mofo, mean, at that Michael price, B. like you, you should go to a custom builder shop it's yeah, very but, clear to me that like if you really want to lower the price of the arcade one of cabinets ship them without monitors or ship them without go. wood 
There, there you go. go. Unfortunately, those are the two most important features <laughs> of the cabinet. So, so you're, you're saying send them out without the monitors and tell people to bring their own screens. Like, I feel like we've been here before and we've already got some lashback on that. B-Y-O-S, yeah. bring your own screen. We'll just keep yeah, it. No screen in there. We'll give you just a hole right there and just buy good your own Good luck bank finding screen. a good screen. I mean, like, you already sell Intel? the right scene screen for it, I, in my opinion. Hey, do, what did you think? Who has a big blue right now? And no one here except for I you. Have, I have a big oh, blue. So what do you think about the resolution and the brightness of the new 17-inch BOEs? Have you noticed the a difference? Better, wait, the wait, are you better, saying actually. is the one I that's on that. this one newer than like the I'm the not Death saying Adder anything. I'm not saying anything, but I want you to notice. Oh, I mean, you... it looks great. I mean, it does look really good. The screen yeah. does look good. But I never thought that the Death Adder, whatever was in the Death Adder, I, that screen looked good too. So like I never had a, the pro, the only problem with the screens was like your earlier yeah. on Gen ones. They had like weird viewing angle issues. Yeah, but true. Your newer ones have ever since it was BOE, they've always been good. So I thought it was funny when someone does a review. They're like, and it still's got the BOE. And you're like, yeah, they all do. And like it's sorry, you know, Zohar, even, you mentioned it too. No, but even um, it did have a BO. It said BOE, but I did notice it's a little bit better. Like the Midway Legacy Cab and the Costco version of MK, it looks better than those cabs for some reason. I, I the think they, I, th I think they all look good, but maybe yeah, I'm, maybe I'm bit. tripping. I, uh, yeah, just take another look. Everyone has a um, big blue. Look at the screen. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you see any differences. The I only don't thing know. Would have been cool on big blue. Would have been cool to have a scan line feature on big yeah. blue. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, SD I don't. Really, card. It's SD a preference card, thing. Some there. That's like one of those things, right? Some people could care less about scan lines and some people want it. But I think people always want the option for whatever reason. But yeah, yeah you know, not every developer can do this. People think yeah, that scan lines true. is a real simple thing. You know, you no, can do not. a simple filter and then scan lines and all that. You know, some developers can do it well. Some, people, some developers can't. There's a reason why some games have no scan lines and some games do. You know, it's like we're not going to throw in a scan line in there or a scan line feature in there if it doesn't look right. Well, what about I, this panel? What do you, what does everyone here like? I would, I would everyone actually. Everyone wants scan lines. I, I mean, as an option, who no, would I don't actually, know if you I had no choice. Like, uh, I don't know. No, you, I don't, you I don't can't. Like no, you, can't, you have to choose one. That's what everyone wants panel. scan lines. We can't know choose. I don't. I, I like, can't like, look, scan lines. Everyone says that the, uh, what's it called? The, the filter that everyone hates. You know what's it called? Oh, the, yeah, the uh, bilinear filter. Bilinear yeah, filter. the Vaseline filter. Okay. Yeah. Go, I don't look, feel like that's go a look really closely filter, but... at the at the uh, countercades, like the Pac Man countercade. It has it, but it looks good. Like on that screen at that size, at that angle, it actually looks good. Yeah. And but everyone's gonna everyone's gonna be, like think I'm insane, but no. But if you go to the 17 inch Bo BOE, it doesn't look good at that range at that size. And then some of these cabinets, I've, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I want scan lines. And then I turn it on. I'm like, actually, this LCD is so crisp. I don't want scan lines. Yeah. yeah. Well, King yeah. Midas brings up a good point. So so companies that, and John, you said this, companies that don't do scan lines well. So scan lines usually reduce the brightness. But right. ones that don't do it well at all, it starts to look really dark. Yep. And so, like, I've seen some do it really well. Like, Code Mystic seems to do a good deployment of scan lines. So... 100%. I'd, I'd say if they're doing your cabs, they should definitely do it just because they're good at it. But well, if you notice, everything that they do is amazing. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're, they're really, you know, they are really good. Is there, is there a way to do like a firmware update and have that option available, or that's something that uh, will never happen? Never say never, but I can't, you know, I can't answer. Wait, those what kind was of the question? I, I, I didn't hear what he asked. Uh, like a firmware update to have like bilinear filtering <laughs> down the road, right. scan lines, stuff like that. It's, it's, possible I mean, it's online i mean it's online i mean how it, it's possible it's possible whether it can happen or not we we don't know and to be honest with you i don't know if that, you know if we'll put that feature you know yeah. in it. It, it if it looks good if that developer can do it and everything else then maybe if not then look i don't want to put lipstick on a pig you know what about game expansions we're not a multicade, brother. <laughs> How about but, just one game? How about just one game? <laughs> <laughs> well, just you know, Street Fighter we, Three. Just we've one. done for me. For me. How about a personal favor for beating my ass? Just give me Street Fighter. Dude, 3 you have. You probably card. have Street Fighter Three on that Mortal Kombat. Behind of course you. I do, but I want it on a big blue. It'll look nicer. <laughs> See, see, I love right there. how weird right you there. are. That's awesome. Think about that. What Zohar just said. That is so weird. I want an but ultimate. Everyone Street Fighter is true, like that. Though. I know it is so. That is so weird, but I it's have so Street true. Fighter Three on my Dreamcast. I have Street Fighter Three on this Bobby Vu majestic something. beauty. Behind there needs me. to be a word but for that. 
But I want. Yeah, what can we make up? Cat. There's like some kind of like mental problem. <laughs> and we all suffer like, from it. We, yeah, we all want, suffer from it. I want an like, ultimate Street Fighter cap. That's all. I just want the ultimate. But it's I'm a compulsion for one game. One game. No, so. but I think what it is is that Street you Street. see the theme of the cabinet, and you're like, "Well, it's a Street Fighter cabinet, so therefore, if you put more Street Fighter games on it, that makes sense." And I'd be happy with that. Like, I know. What I don't it know. Is. There, it's I, like it's a, very simple. I can answer that question. Yeah. Hold on, people, Zohar. Hold on. People hold on. want. I'm a is doctor. This... Okay, fine. I won't answer. No, no, no. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm not trying to talk over you. I'm trying oh, okay, to talk okay. to you. Oh, 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 cool. Okay, sorry. Do you, re <laughs> do you remember the One Up Weekly private live stream we did where you were on it? And you oh, said something yeah. really amazing that I think still is true. Is he that said, what you remember? Natalie. <laughs> no, that's not it. Natalie. <laughs> How do you know that? People, I'll say I'll he did say, say that. I said. I said a lot of amazing things, by the way. Oh, John's but, got another oh, account. Boy. But there's one thing I people want. Anybody can do a street. I could do a cab and have five thousand Street Fighter cabs. Anybody can do a Donkey Kong cab. Anybody can do a Blitz cab. It's not about what we can do. It's about feeling validated and acknowledged. Like, oh wait a second, One Up is actually listening to us, and they did what we wanted them to do. It's that feeling of oh, I matter. I'm being noticed. I'm being listened to, and <laughs> Fuck. Oh, sorry. John, Damn, gave me, John gave me a Street Fighter 3 cab. I mean, I have Street Fighter 3 on Dreamcast, on PC, on MAME. I could do whatever I want. So but they listen to me. I feel so, validated so, now. So, Zohar, That's can I ask the you? whole point. Was Zohar, that where you were going, Justin? Can, can I, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just amazed because Zohar's like, like uh, silent Bob, except for not being silent. He's like ranting <laughs> Zohar, and <laughs> then all the of a sudden end, he stops. Right? And he says the most amazing thing that's Chasing ever been Amy. said on that any live Chasing. show. I think that's amazing. What, Amy? His, his Thanks, thought. Man. That movie Chasing Amy. Yeah, I just dropped. Yeah. dropped I a, love, love Chasing Amy. Yeah, it's my one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I mean, so we how all this, want so the hard. ultimate, ultimate Street Fighter cab in that aesthetic look. Like, you know, but. Okay, I'm going to write, no, write this yeah. down. No, I'm going to write this down. It's, it's yeah. funny because yeah. he, he gave up on the Mortal Kombat. Oh, because he's got a custom Mortal Kombat behind him. Right. Now I want so the he, next thing. He's like, John, you you got to give me my fix, and this is what it is. So, and so also this is another thing. Another thing. I'm sorry. Another thing. It's about <laughs> consistency, too. The reason why we want uh, all the Street Fighter cabs on one Street Fighter all the Street Fighter games on one Street Fighter cab because uh, human behavior, we look for consistency. We want to feel... Um, validated. Uh, exactly. Validated, acknowledged, whatever. But we also like consistency. Okay. I don't want to have like a, um, Mike Tyson's punch out on a Street Fighter cab. I want all sure. Street Fighter it's games. It's order. It's like compulsion. Right? Well, I got an I, idea, John. It like an order. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What so if I, John said, hey, we're going to go with the... Uh, and I'm, I don't know anything, by the way. I'm just, I'm just saying, <laughs> talking smack here. What if you went with the other big blue variant for oh, your the one Street with Fighter the speakers, 3 series? The detached, yeah. like, the detached with speakers. And that would be kind of cool because then you'd have both big blue designs. And then maybe we could throw in maybe Street Fighter. You know, what you didn't say is how come you don't want Street Fighter EX or Street Fighter EX Alpha 2? I don't even well, know what that is. See, <laughs> you're an MK guy. I knew it. <laughs> I just want Alpha. I just want Street Fighter. Come on, 3. even awesome. Ralph knows Street Fighter EX. It's Street Fighter EX Alpha. It's Street Fighter EX Plus. I, don't really Alpha. I do. I'm not as big a fan of those, but that. I do know. I know that. You know, <laughs> no, you don't. I, know also, that I also don't want Street Fighter the movie with Jean Claude. Oh no, you yeah. have to. That Dude, game. Why work. does everyone so back on that game? That that so game is, it's underrated. That game actually isn't that bad, dude. It's not that bad. This is it. Yeah, Dude, those good. supers, those supers on a digital. I mean, you got yeah, exactly, Ralph. You know Street Fighter. I'm gonna talk to you. I have, <laughs> I actually Fighter. have the real board. I bought it because I was like, I needed to have all this Street Fighter memorabilia, so I bought Street Fighter the the game, the movie. I have the board, like the real board for it. You so. know that was, and and speaking of Van Dam, and again Rev Five, I didn't give him his props. So you know, as everyone knows, I used to kind of run this uh, Capcom Pro Tour, and, and we'd have amazing commentators. And like I gotta tell you. I was so impressed with Rev 5's commentary, but not just the commentary. Something that he does that is really unique and that I've never seen before is real-time production and, and video clips during a live fight. I've never seen that before. That guy should be an Evo commentator. So Rev 5, props yeah. to you. That's changing the game. If you could do that for every big match, I'm telling you, you're going to get like – you'll be like the – Michael Buff or whatever. Uh, Look what I'm doing for the people. community. I bring John D to the community. I bring Rev 5 to everybody. I am, you're welcome. 
me. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Zohar. Wow. Thank yes. you. Stop okay, hating on me. Hillary. I'm a human Zo being. Mute Zohar no for more hate. Second. No more hate for Zohar. No more hate. Yeah, do, we really, do, we, do we do we really I'm out too. do we really want Zohar the content creator or is this like, oh wait oh hey Zohar how you doing hey, okay. that was funny I love that I love that Dante's so, really gone though he might actually be gone we do got to catch up with some super chats before wait, John D oh goes. he had what is yeah. that you're not supposed to oh they John you're not supposed to eat that that's not in your dietary that's that's not no, right it, can everyone know that like I also took a break and went back on taquito. Thank you. I'm trying to. That looks like bread in. right there. Well, this is pizza. I was eating pizza like while I was playing Zohar. No. <laughs> Watch oh. that pizza. Wow. Okay. Uh, fine. Fine. So uh, I do want to catch up with some of these super chests because there's some funny ones we're missing here. But uh, someone's mentioning, and I haven't seen this yet, exactly what the ROMs are. They say is, uh, and you're probably not going to be able to answer this. Class of 81 doesn't include the Class of 81 ROM. Is is mm. there something there, or is this? This was just my a... fault, I think. My video. Oh, so what, I'm, what I'm what I'm trying to hear is that people want the exact Class of 81 ROM, which had like the sped up Pac-Man and all that yeah. stuff. Uh, there's, uh, I know, I see it. Uh, it's not that we don't know that those. ROMs, that's not the one included. There's certain reasons from a licensing standpoint why that's not included. But yeah, I mean, is it the exact ROM with the with the sp sped up Pac-Man? I can't even say right now because I can't comment on things that haven't been fully released. Right. Yeah. Well, if you were going to release it, you should have a speed chip option. Okay. Like an option to just, even though it's not actually a chip, but like a dip switch that you can go have the speed chip feature. I'm cool. writing that down, Ralph. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Sling Spade. Sling Spade wanted to know, as of right now, are you guys planning on having a physical presence at CES 2022, or is that too far out? We don't know. It's hard to Put tell. In. Like, in this day of COVID, it's really hard to tell, like, if we're even going to go back to work in full force in November, let alone know yeah. what we're going to do in January. Honestly. Exactly. Uh, I don't know if this is a question so much as a comment, but Stringer Film says Zohar has actually chased an Amy before. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's actually true. I'm not even joking. That's good. Wait, how do you know that? Uh, how does Stringer know that? knows everything. Now, remember that live stream? I, he, he knew my last name. I was like, what the heck? Uh, Mr. Hey, Stevens said... So Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Ralph. Oh, no, no, no. No, sorry. I was, it was stupid. Hey, guys, was it's, it's been past an hour, so I got to go. I mean, um, John's out. Yeah, I'm out, guys. I, if you want to continue discussion, I can stay if you press one. But if not, like I, I, I said, I was going to be like Monday Night Football. What's happening right now? Who's I winning know. the game? John wanted to go early and he only wanted to go a half hour. So we've really taken him. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm only oh, kidding. You, if sure? you guys, if you guys want to keep going. It's it's <laughs> it's up to you. But I, I think this conversation has been getting stale. No. Okay. Yeah. One, 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 one. Press two if you want me to leave. Oh, you guys are so nice. <laughs> no one's going to press two. All right. Okay, let's go. Dude, Fuck. Try, right. try. Forget we, Monday Night Football. I hate so the Raiders again. Back. I hate the freaking Raiders. We wanted you back for so long. Are you crazy? Baby, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, man. You can blame it all on me. See, I got another question for the two people here on the bottom. Speaking of back, uh, what about you guys? Are you going to be doing anything soon? What do people want? Well, what? <laughs> no, I uh, well, Justin, I have been talking about it. You have been talking. I say bring the I band want. back together. That's what I would want. So our I, biggest thing, our biggest it. thing was that the show is called the One Up Weekly. It shouldn't right? be weekly. It shouldn't be weekly. It that's, could well, be that, called well, One that, Up Weekly, well, but it Justin, shouldn't be weekly. That's so what we Justin figured and I it out. Talked about. Yeah, we figured it out. This is what we're gonna do. We'll come back, but no one cares that it's called one up weekly we're no still gonna call it one up weekly yeah, but you can't but, but sometimes well, you gotta go five times weekly. a week you can go five times a week also <laughs> that's right we're going to five, yeah, times, five a week. times a week a daily show or whatever a morning coffee you do talk, monthly you know just okay that. so it is a it is official one up weekly will return <laughs> Woo! wow soon Woo! <laughs> yeah it is it is definitely what? we will use your that's moniker you're soon yeah for it's sure. on tonight tonight no no it's not on tonight no, we we thought about doing that, but <laughs> we thought about doing that, right? We thought about doing thought that, about but me. we were like, let's let's hold up. We we just came around to the idea we're going to return. I finished my move. I'm ready to do it. Also, console kits myself will be returning to regular content now that I'm all moved. So, some people might enjoy that. And then uh, maybe even a music stream eventually. I might get around to it. Nice, nice. But but the one up we we need some time because. 
if we're not going to do it weekly, it's go yeah, big or go home. Yeah, they have to be. You can't do it weekly. Shows. It's just been just been weeks. You can't talk about anything. So why do it weekly? The, the other no. thing is, Ralph and I have held out on some pretty epic ideas oh, the that we wanted so to do for One Up Weekly for a long time, and Ralph was basically like, "Let's only do those." And you know what, Justin? You know what I just thought about? And I'm and this is not going to be a tease or giveaway. There's someone else on this panel. Hold on. Well, I, I can't really point to you because you're I'm gonna have to go through Justin. I'm pointing at Michael <laughs> B. There's someone else on this panel that we can incorporate into that one idea, and you know yeah, okay. why. But dang, that's a good idea. Right? Why? I just Wait, thought it, I, how I come miss? I didn't even think of that before? He's like Yeah. 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 He doesn't even know it either. He doesn't What's even up? know it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's and he'll actually love and, it. And and we and we talked about this is perfect because we were like, hey Mike, you know. Uh, we'll come on your show, and you can be on the show One Up Weekly when we return as well. And he's like, "Ah, oh, this is awesome," but he doesn't even know yet. Yeah, it'll be it's, good. We have to just figure out how to work. How we have to figure out how, to, how that works. Because, technical but, details, right? Yeah, but, yeah. But we can figure that out. You can like, you can like hack the game or something because that's I'll what you do. It out. Mm -hmm. So John D has been more direct about what's happening with Arcade One Up, even though he wasn't supposed to talk about it. Then you guys are being <laughs> One Up Weekly right now. <laughs> It's definitely coming back, but there's just that Justin and I, we were, we always had these ideas we sat on, but we never did them because we were like, I don't know why we never did them. I don't know. We just kind of, they're hard. Yeah, yeah they're, they're hard. It's a do. lot of work. Yeah, it's, it is a lot of work, right? You guys have your own uh, work lives. Uh, you know, Justin has his job. Ralph, you have your day job. And then also having to do your arcade stuff. And it's, it's a lot of, it's a time sick. And you know, my. Yeah. We you know this and console yeah. fanboy. He he spends a lot of time in each contest, so so we get it. But I do want to. Uh, there's an elephant in the room here. I, you know, these super chats or some things are being deleted or what. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I saw a super chat that said something about my licensing. If, if it, it went by half a second, if you can bring that back up, I do yeah. want to address something like that. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, licensing on Robotron. I don't know if I can go. Oh, back it? To the I thought yeah. I thought it said John D sucks in licensing. No, no, like no, that. no. It sucks that licensing is so oh, okay. hard for Robotron. You don't have to put that back up because I was gonna I was gonna agree with them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> John, I, I do want I do want to ask you, you a question about that. that. I've asked you a bunch of times, and uh, sure. like people want games like uh, WrestleFest, and mm. like they they're always like, oh, it's so easy, you just stick WrestleFest and Superstars, well, and then WrestleMania the arcade game on it, and no one mm. understands the actual complications that go into that. One let's of do this, it. One of this is the fact that WrestleFest and Superstars are made by Technos, but WrestleMania the arcade game is a midway game. So I mean, like it's a nightmare getting them to work together. That's not even considering the actual licensing partnerships that go with the wrestlers and getting the wrestlers to agree and then getting WWE to agree if they're not on Legends contracts. It's a nightmare, right? Well, I mean, I think you brought most of the points up. Look, again, I'm I'm not really supposed to talk about things that are, you know, um, coming out or not coming out. But I will tell you, <laughs> no, but I, I have addressed this before. Yeah, uh, there's complications with uh, different games. You you talk about. Uh, you know, WrestleMania again, the, the, the Midway game. And yeah. it's very, it's, it, and that's a digitized game. That game was just so so. You know, yeah. no one really wants that game. Uh, but uh, you can't really pair that game because it's about Midway versus, versus a game that was like Technos of Japan, like those two games you're talking about. You, it's hard to like, you know, have multiple licensors co mingle. Uh, but also, you know, uh, similar to NFL Blitz and NBA Jam, there's those similar issues. And I'm talking about generality everyone about like the licensing issues of certain games. Um, you're right, roster, right? And like, you know, the WWE may have the rights to say uh, uh, Demolition Crush and Demolition Smash, yeah. but not LOD. Or they, you know, and then the WWF logo no longer exists. So what do we do that? And then what, how about the uh, the music, which is, I think, is a smaller issue, but still an issue, right? And then being yeah. able to, like, can you really backwards engineer a game, uh, you know, taking out characters like Sergeant Slaughter, a big boss man, and 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 uh, replace them with, say, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a rock or a uh, Stone Coast Steve Austin, which was on the, uh, I think, the 2012 version of the yeah. iOS uh, Russell Fist game was kind of crap, crap game. But look, uh, those are a myriad of issues. And if if Retromania Wrestling would have been Retromania Wrestling if they could actually figure out those rights, yeah. right? Uh, so, and, and you're in that game, Michael B. I saw you. I played that yeah, game. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, Michael that, B., what was your stage? What was your? Oh, does that people know that you did the wrestling thing? Right? Oh yeah, I, I made it very clear. I mean, like, what was your name? Like, did you? Have, uh, what, 
Yeah, it was I, Michael I, B. the Game Genie. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. Uh, I went by uh, Paragon of Virtue, Wait. Michael Burry. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, like the idea was like I was a big Chris Jericho fan. He used that sentence. Chris Jericho time. is dope. Yeah. My, what am I talking about? What was your finishing uh, move? Uh, I used a, uh, again, ripping off Chris Jericho, I used a Texas Cloverleaf, but I did the knee in the back, so the elevated Texas Cloverleaf. Oh, elevated. We need video. Do you have any video? We need, we like, need video. We, we need, need video yeah, confirmation. Yeah. I mean, I know yeah. it happened. I just want to see real video. I want to see my, my move is a teabag move. I like run across the corner. <laughs> I go, like I put my legs up. Someone knows that really well. Okay, like, okay, okay. okay. The, no, John, the John. John, I know David's not here. This is this is not the right look right now. Sorry, We're going my too bad. far. Sorry. We're yeah. too far. I, I, I was uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> this is this is a little bit behind the scenes news uh, information. I'm telling you now. So I was talking to Ralph earlier, and I was telling him about my wrestling stuff. And uh, I said the first time I went to like a work meeting, and I was a really young executive director of the charity. I'm there with all these older people. They're a lot more um, educated than I am. A lot of them PhDs and. You know, I'm sitting around this table already really nervous. And then out of nowhere, someone found a picture of my wrestling stuff and they threw it up on the screen in front of like the whole like national board of directors, <laughs> all the other executive directors. And I was like, well, this is brewing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Press one in the chat if you want to see Michael B. in his old fucking wrestling. I uh, do. That's a good story. You know, yeah, I'd see that. It's a good story, Mike. It's the same thing Zohar is fearing that uh, all of his Ph.D. Uh, doctors in his community find out about his channel. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't even matter because oh I, I lost I lost five subs. I lost five subs since this aired. So okay, that's nothing though. But imagine yeah, everyone wants to see Michael B in his old uh, wrestling trunks. Imagine you're all at a convention. I won't say what it is, Zohar, and then they pull up and they're like, "We want to play this special video," and it's all, "Did you see it? Did you see it?" And they're gonna be like, "Oh crap!" That, that, that was the creepiest. Cracking. That was the creepiest video I've ever seen. That one freaked me out. It did freak me out. You did you look got, scary oh, in that. If you guys haven't seen it, come to my channel, Console, yeah. Console Fanboy, and check it out. Yeah, and honestly, I, I do want to give Zohar like wicked props here because on top of just like the competition with uh, Kuma Re uh, Reb Five doing the announcing, I mean that was incredible. But even your video ahead of time, man, like that for was somebody, great promo. yeah, for someone great who promo hasn't, video. for someone who hasn't done a lot of YouTube, that was very professional, very well yeah. done. Like, Dude, man, he's got skills. Every, I practice. Not a street you know fighter, but he has skills. Oh God! You know how Dude, I practiced I... all the one-up weekly shows and sending clips to Justin and Ralph. Like this is what you said. This is what you said. That was my practice when the one-up yeah, weekly show was, was great. on. I handed I, my I... phone to my daughter the other day, and and she watched the whole thing. A lot. Sometimes I hand her a phone or something like that. I hear watch this. She's like, "Okay, I'm bored." And she's like, "It's the one about eggs." You know, it's oh, it's basically oh you know oh. the satire of the IRK doesn't have... yeah, yeah. It's funny because we can talk about it for a second, like. Like, I think that's funny because obviously the IRK does have a whole bunch of games that are a lot of fun. You're just highlighting the worst. I right? love yeah, it. Okay. You know hey, what they have? To be honest, games. you they said have, they have Mutant League football. They have Retro uh, Mania yeah, Wrestling. They have obviously. a lot of good games. Space Ace. A hey, lot John, of good games. Sony Boys like Forever. Five, you know. That's five out of 200. Up your right. quality games uh, a little come bit. Come on, guys. But it was funny. It was come like, on. this one's they called Eggs. Eggs. I like Eggs. I like my Eggs. Scrambled, Poached, Fried. So Thanks, the, the, the thing I'll say about that comment, and I'm not trying to defend II Arcade here, but like, you know, you don't got to buy everything, right? You just buy what I you know. want. Right. I know. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you don't, don't got to buy everything. And let's, let's not make this into a bashing can, session. Can right we? Now. Uh, I really please, don't want to yeah. do that. There's one it's thing too we much. do. This yeah. isn't a bashing thing. I just no, need no, to no, know. We're going to put it to rest right here. Is yeah. one of the eyes silent? It is, apparently. It is. I Arcade. John told me it was I Arcade. Oh really? Well, oh, see, it's I arcade. Know. That's it. Yeah, yeah I arcade. Oh, man, I got I got to delete all my I I arcade videos. <laughs> oh, then I redo I, everything now. And I have a Newfoundland accent, so it, sometimes it's hard for me to uh, get the R out because I have a trouble with errors. So I'm there trying to struggle just to get the arcade part out and make an error sound normal, and then I'm throwing the second I in there. It's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, hey, but you was... know, oh, good. Oh, sorry, John. There was this question that kept popping up. Actually, there's multiple people that asked it. And I know that we're not supposed to be here and ask, are you going to do this game? Or are you going to do that game? But this was one but then, that when I... But I'm but going. Go ahead. But there was one that I saw that I was like, man, I love this game. And it was funny because people would ask for it. And when the leaky things happened, it was in there. And I was like, I was like, well, I, I wanted to see if people would be excited about it. And they, they were genuinely excited about it. It's track Which and game? field. Track and field. I revisited track and field. It's not as fun by yourself, but when you're playing it with someone else, it is so much fun. Like, 
I think Michael B is a track and field fan, but yeah. like it's it's a fun game. So we saw that, and I know I'm not asking you to confirm or whatever anything, but I'm just saying if you decided to make a cool a game, track and field's a cool game to make. I don't know where that came from, but I'm just saying. And people I'm in the just chat saying, were this mentioning is, it. This is not the Matrix. This is how I play track and field like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> play track and field like that. John, what's yeah. up with Killer Instinct and Twisted Metal? Like, what are you guys? What's up? What? Twisted what? Metal. What? Where does I this mean, come from? Gaming. Twisted, twisted gaming. gaming. What did I say? Oh, okay, my twisted, next, my twisted next twisted twisted gaming. Twisted gaming. Yeah. I'm retired gaming. from online matches. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I'm retired from all You're online so matches. You're so mean to me. I, I'm very I, look. I am very. I'm, I am now. Listen to me. This is true. I am retired from online matches until I played Twisted Gaming, not Twisted Metal. That's a PS One game. I know uh, on that. On Ki, okay, on okay. Ki. So my next, my next match, likely in the fall. Watch for it. Twisted Gaming against John D in Killer Instinct. Okay, I'll announce that man. I'm gonna go in training and I'll train just as hard as I trained in CE. I'll just be like Rocky Balboa in Rocky Four with a big beard and like training in Siberia and doing. Oh, dude, all that. I know who's the you... best Rocky, by the way. Best movie. Best no, it's Rocky not. Movie. Rocky Three yeah. is. No, Rocky, Rocky Three is. Rocky, Rocky Three. Rocky. Three. Come on. I, oh, that's I right. <laughs> that's I why. Because you're Russian. Did you know? Did you notice how meta our match was? <laughs> I wanted to beat your ass. In Russia, USSR, oh. right? That was oh, USSR. Right. And, oh. and I want blonde hair. hair. And I, I blonde want hair. And I want blonde hair like Ivan Drago. Oh my God, you're right. Right, <gasps> right. That's right. so meta. I, I gotta, meta. I gotta go totally back for Rocky a second. Four. There was some stuff said that I can't live with. Rocky Three is the best Rocky movie, but it Rocky is. Four, Rocky Four has the best soundtrack. Maybe the best '80s movie soundtrack of all time. No one cares. Baby. Oh, it's really good. No, it has a, the montage. <laughs> I do the monta- '80s There's montages. There's no easy way out. There's no shortcut home. There's no shortcut home. <laughs> I've been Drago as a, that's is awesome. The hey, you're Rocky well is a series you're itself well has the that's best the montages. Oh in my the gosh! 80s. Imagine Three. if we could have had John D. and it was a picture of Zohar and he crinkles the paper up. Like that would have been so <laughs> epic. <laughs> We could have made it next time. Why don't we do that? You will take you to Maximilian dude's house and that will be your training. Yeah. John D Maximilian yeah. free MVC two max. Yeah. Cause yeah, he's like, yeah. he's a yeah. big he's K- KI guy. Yeah. He is. He's a, uh, what is it? Play KI is the hashtag or something like that. Play KI. Or, so, yeah, so Max is a great friend. That would think, be cool. If you could pull that off, I'm saying you get your resources from arcade one up, get a camera uh, crew. You go to Maximilian dude's house. He freaking trains okay. you. Let's do then, it. And Twisted Chris will do Let's like, do I don't know, whatever. And, and you'll, you'll definitely it. never play MK, right? Like if you make it online. I'm being serious. Like you'll never do it, right? You'll never play me MK. I won't play you in anything, dude. It's oh done. <laughs> it's oh, done. <laughs> We're never playing again unless you want to put $1,000 in the private room, me against you. and see I'll do $1,000 MK. I'll do $1,000 Mortal Kombat. No. Sorry. Did you see it? Did you, see, no. Oh, no. you know what? I, I want everyone. I want everyone to go back in all the videos prior to uh, nine ten and 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 see how much smack this guy was talking. Just oh, just my. just watch it because it fueled me. It really did. You know. Just that's, you know. That's why he watched it. it. Fueled Justin Wong. Just say it already. No, Justin Wong trained me, and he he did not let me win. He made sure that. You know, I understood the game in and out, the frame data, the situational analysis. Same with Alex Valle, same with Jibaili. I mean, these so, guys I used to work with. And so, you know, this, that's so what they did. So because we're on to the next challenge and Zohar's <laughs> no longer important, the Twisted, ga- <laughs> <laughs> the, the Twisted Gaming TV matchup, do you think he'd be okay if you got trained by Maximilian? Dude, like, is, is Twisted Gaming that confident oh, that, he is that he's going to beat you? Look, that he'd be cool with you doing that training. That's he has smart, to be. Actually. He has to be, you know, because I'm not good in KI2. This is going to be KI2. Okay. I'm not good in KI2. Never really played that game, but I'm I'm confident in my gaming skills in general. But I'm not, like, he understands that game way, way better than I am. Like, the reason why I beat so hard, not just because I'm more skilled, because I understand the, the, the frame data, the situation wow. analysis is all that. I have to learn the KI rule set, the KI2 rule set. So, yes, I'm going to train with the best. That's what you got to take L's to win. You got to take L's to win. You could take this whole Zohar concept, right? This two years in the making, and you could do it again with Twisted Chris, except you document your training. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Like we have a John training montage. Yeah. 80s training montage. Yes. By the way, 
You're Bring welcome for the idea. <laughs> oh, geez, here we go. <laughs> You're welcome, community. Keep hating me. Hate on me, but I'm giving you gold. Okay, oh, gosh. All right. As co-host of the show, I would like to say, Michael B., there was a really interesting super chat that you showed up a little bit earlier that I think is a great suggestion about each one of us if we could have yes. that perfect arcade one-up, what would the title line up to be? And let's say, John, I would love for Me? you to yeah. be a part of it. Okay, right? let's but do it. as as John D, not Everyone as knows. arcade one-up. Okay. okay, let's let's make that disclaimer. I am speaking on behalf of my own preferences and myself, and not to say that this will ever happen, but this is my dream cab. Okay, yeah, like a consumer, as a consumer, consumer right? Uh, uh, no, no, no. No, it's not because I suck at street. And I hate parring. It's, it's just not street fighter to me. Well, it is. It's great. It's just not my test cup. I'll, I'll start. Okay. My dream cab or cabinets uh, would be an eight-player Daytona, linkable, oh. and online. You know, I've always wanted that. I, you only seen that skew, I think, in um, Dave and Buster's. Could we do it? I don't know. That You know Model 2 emulation is tough. Everyone knows this. And it's not just Model 2. And, and like, what version do you use? Because my favorite version is the one that's currently on Xbox One. Uh, but, look, I love that racing game. I love that racing title. And if I were to have anything in my garage, in my house, with the eight-player link, tournament mode, Daytona, USA. Next. Wow. That's a good pick. A really good pick. But you, I've, I've said this in many shows before, right? I think Mike should go next. Oh, man, you guys are killing me. <laughs> I, I want Robotron 2084. I've made it clear. I've got pretty much everything I wanted right now. I love it. So I want I Robotron, but I want Robotron with the actual cabinet art, which I don't think I'm going to get. Zohar? Um, my lord and savior, Bobby, to die for, already gave it to me. <laughs> I knew he was going to say me. that. I knew Thanks, he was Bobby. going to say that. I love you, Bobby. He already right. gave it to me. I'll go next, and we'll go with Ralph afterwards. I would love a Nintendo cabinet. A play yeah. choice 10, you know, that'd be really cool. Or maybe the versus cabinets. You could get really crazy. What, what oh. You could get the red tent going. What about the ones where there's double? You put, you could sell two arcade one-ups. The double screen? The so double your... screen side by side, the, the versus versus, whatever they're called. Okay, well, how about the play, play choice 10? Let me add to that. How about the play choice 10 with the two screens where the first screen is like oh, the selectable God, games yes. and then the second screen is the game? You know. I don't know. I just want to. Or just straight up punch out, right? Yeah, we'll punch out with two screens. Punch out with two screens. I don't know. These it's, are twelve hundred dollars, but everyone yeah. will buy it. If we ever get Nintendo, I will retire. I'd be like the done, like I'm done, like mic yeah. drop, boom, mic drop, yeah. boom. Absolutely. Yeah, that would be epic. What do you think, Rob? Well, see, mine is mine is actually influenced by a by a cabinet I'm looking for right now. I think it'd be really cool. I, maybe this game isn't as popular as I think it is, but I loved it. I love Smash TV. So if there was like a Smash TV Total Carnage like mashup cabinet, yeah. I feel like that'd be really cool. I just don't know if it has the mass appeal of other games. Like you talk yeah. about, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it does, but I would want it. You know if. Yeah, that's that's the issue, right? You know, will it, will retailers know what it is and will they be out that in big numbers? Because I love Smash TV. I think I yeah. didn't play it so much in the arcade, but I played it on the Super Nintendo. Total Carnage would be on it if we were to do it, and a whole bunch of other games. But uh, yeah, I I hear you. We hear you. And it's got a cool know. cabinet too. It's got it like kind of a neat, I like. Yeah, like it, it has is. the the one thing on that cabinet I love, and I don't know what it is. It's just so cool. Is like inset in it is this metal grill. And it has the Williams logo across yeah. it, and it just looks freaking awesome. So, yeah, that would be mine. But I mean, there's many of them. I could go on forever, but that's the one okay. I'll say. I have to bring this up, but Mike says Punch Out could be done well with one 16 by 9 vertical yeah. screen. That's oh, and a like cool split idea. it. Oh, like yeah, that? you totally could. Yeah. It. It's one Don't emulation. <laughs> that's That'd good. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. But like Nintendo license. You know, now you got to go look and see if there's you know. any other vertical dual screen game out there that you do have a license for. Yeah. <laughs> My, uh, I have a, a dream cab that I wanted, but it's what Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, no, it, a lot of people don't even know about this game, and it's and it's been overpowered by NBA Jam. But my my all time favorite sport cab would be uh, Running Gun Two. I know nobody knows what I'm talking about. Not I do Running know what you're Running Gun. Yeah, not, everyone not, knows Running Gun Two. But it has not Running Gun One, the Running Gun Two, because it has like the alley oops, the fadeaways, well, the crossovers. I don't think I know that. 
You don't know. It, it, the, it was dual screen. Uh, Running yeah, Gun 2 was dual oh, screen. Dude, you know and well, I don't think course, I ever played well. Running Gun 2. The first one, yeah. It was a awesome. Konami the game, right? The first one it's not, awesome. It doesn't suck. It but does suck. Running Gun doesn't. 2 is, Run, is Running Gun 2 is definitely, of course, it's better. It's, 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 it's run on and more powerful architecture. It has more moves. I love yeah. Running Gun 2. But yeah, that's a yeah. tough one to emulate. Yeah, that would be my dream cap. Yeah. So. Mine would be another version of Pac-Man. <laughs> you know what like, pops coming. up a lot in the chat it's yeah. popped up He's like gonna... a zillion times during this show seriously i keep on seeing it everyone keeps saying nfl blitz nfl blitz and i do think that's a game that it's such a fun game to play with play with like a group of people so yeah um that's obviously one of them i think john is gonna make a running gun to cab but then it'll be a pac-man pcb just to mess with me <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that'd be so fun if he sent you that for special delivery like you just and, wake and up one day you go out and you find this cabinet and you're like oh my god running gun 2 pac-man comes on I, i'd love to see that that'd be awesome i know and that you this get, isn't you just got pack you know, rolled laughing. everyone got pack rolled <laughs> i know that this isn't confirmed but we've been pretty we've been pretty easy on you john the one thing i'm not certain i'm gonna and i will fall on the sword if i'm wrong and i know that it's not confirmed so you, you're gonna be like what are you talking about i don't know you guys can do t2 I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, if you, I don't know if you can pull off T two. If it's in, if it's indeed a real cabinet. I've never played that game, so I. I can't oh, shut up! Yes, you don't have. know what you're talking about. I've never, <laughs> yes, yeah. never played T two. I love the movie though. T two. Uh, 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 fun fact: I used to work at the movie theaters uh, when. That's how old I am. I, uh, when T two came out, I think it was 1991 or something like that, or uh, or ninety yes, one. I um had this uh, girlfriend who also worked at the movie theaters and uh, you know we would kind of go in the break room and you know just talk about t2 in the break room and eat popcorn and i have very fond memories of watching that movie so john that's an awesome story if you ever <laughs> <laughs> i feel like justin just dude i know justin well enough he just oh, cool story bro you he just that was justin's equivalent of cool story bro <laughs> hey he too, he too is, cool story bro <laughs> There's a lot of T2 so clips you, in my review, by the let's way. Let's not talk about T2 anymore. If right. if you were to do a, a not T2, but any type of stationary gun game, how would you pull it off, though? It's tough to pull off any type of stationary game in a, in a uh, cabinet that is this thin. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they're too close to that. Because people would dock all the time, and it would not happen. It would not work. So, I mean, it almost seems like you would have to make it where – the guns in this case are detachable, and then you hold it and shoot. Are we talking hypotheticals here? Totally hypothetical. Yeah, I, like I'm not even joking. Like I'm. There's a lot of games in that genre that like, like Revolution that are, X. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you that nothing is confirmed until it's officially confirmed. And hypothetically, if we're talking about stationary games i think it's very difficult to have a machine gun that's rumbles and stationary because they would run into each other a lot yeah. and everything i never like even thought about running into each other it would it's like that those yeah. guns like if you look well, at it they just like run into each other how you do they're, that they're close oh, you can't really see, you can't see you one of them. Like, they're close really to like, each other even on the that? real one i mean they're like they almost touch on the real cabinet so like yeah. imagine if the cabinet was even more narrow it would be really hard to do yeah, yeah. Th there's total limitations just based on yeah. the size of what you're doing and trying to do the footprint. There was one, uh, I don't know, you, do you remember the old Exidy gun games, John? Like, yes, uh, like uh, crossbow. And, yeah, crossbow, chiller. Crossbow. So I love that. Very early on, uh, we missed it on the Super Chats, but someone said they're waiting for their chiller baby cage. So uh, I'm excited for that. I'm waiting for MK2 baby cage. <laughs> there you go. Online. <laughs> yeah, Babe Allity's only. Online. Hey, <laughs> Zohar, do you know what uh, Exidy is or who they are? And do you have you ever played crossbow? I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. I have no it's idea. So hard just thinking. to do like a stream takeover thing. <laughs> I, know he did. I wanted I wanted to see the look of disappointment on his face when John said MK2 baby Kate. <laughs> yeah, there's also a stringer film super chat to ask John if there was anything else that happened in the break room. <laughs> <laughs> do you mad this girl? I was telling you, she was like, she was 18 and I was 19 uh, and okay. was my first it was my first job out of you know like coming back uh, as a freshman in college and we watched T2 and it was an amazing experience for me okay <laughs> <laughs> cool story bro I feel like the way you're saying cool it story, bro. <laughs> all right all right I think 
<laughs> we got to turn this back over still, to Michael yeah. B before yeah, stuff Michael goes B. off the rails too uh-huh. hard. <laughs> yes, fourteen ten Ravens over. Uh, I mean the Ravens ah. over the Raiders. Ravens I love over it. the Raiders. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I'm a Niner fan. I don't like yeah. the Raiders. I like Raider fans, but I don't like the Raiders. Uh, before we close up, because I, I think we should probably clue it up in the next little bit. Sure. We've almost been going two hours. But I, I want to say more than anything else, John, thank you so much for coming on here tonight. Thank doing you. this with us. Thanks for having me. You've been missed in the community. I must have made probably 20 different episodes of Chill and Chat with Michael B, where I end up somehow leading to John D needs to come back. So it's just. And I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate it. I, I watched and it really touched me. And everyone can say their final words, but can I say my final words last? Can I have the final, final words? Absolutely. So, console fanboy, give us your final words. Um, I'm just grateful that John D is back. And. Um... I don't care that he whipped my ass. Oh, there's music, really? I don't care that he whipped my ass. It wasn't even about that. I know I'm way better than him. He knows I'm way better than him. But it's not really about that, is it? You know what it's really about? It's about family. Yes. It's about coming together and saying, you know what, John? Why the hell did you leave us? Give us closure. We love you. Please come back to us. We need you in the community. It's dull without you. Please come back to us. How will we how will we get you back? I know. Let's make an awesome video review of Big Blue and go to Console Fanboy's channel. Give him at least a million views so he can retire from his job. Please. <laughs> and then Gandhi will come back and everyone will stop hating on Zohar because so many haters out there. Maybe the Big Blue review will be like, you know what? Let's not hate on Zohar. He brought us John D. Let's love Zohar because he brought us the Lord and Savior, John D. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Zohar. Thank you for those words. Console uh, kids, take us home. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Am I Your, final to, like, words. Your final words. Your my final, final words. words. Well, Your this final has words been, we end the show. Yeah, this has been a great show, and I really appreciate, John, you taking the time. Thank you. Uh, it's unfortunate there's a lot of people that were hoping that you could – you know, come with a whole bunch of leaks, but we understand that to have you back, it's got to be a chat and chill. And thanks, Mike, for putting that together, a chill and chat where we're just really hanging out. I, I can't say chat and chill because then it, you know, sounds like chill and chat, whatever, whatever. Anyway. But when we do chill and chat, we do it in the break room. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I really look forward to uh, the cabs that have not yet came out yet. There's some good ones that are coming out. So, uh, yeah, definitely look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, Justin. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. By the way, nobody even laughed at the chat when I spoke. Come on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, Retro Ralph, Retro Ralph, before I go on, take us to your final words. Hey, man. I, uh, I'm just glad to see you back, you know? I mean... Oh gosh. <laughs> hey guys. It's final hey guys. thoughts time. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just... I'm glad to see you back, you know? I, I feel like... You're revitalized. I can sense it. I had a conversation with you privately, and I felt that that energy, the John D energy, was back. And uh, you know, I know you're always working behind closed doors because uh, we can see that all these licenses are happening. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Here's the thing: whether you're a one-up fan or you're not, the one thing that I'll say is that you know, I do this. I'm not trying to plug my show, but I do this show and all these collectors talk about they, these are collectors of arcade games. And they say, you know, the ones that like are open to it go, it's kind of cool because like they're revitalizing and, bre- and breathing new life into something. And their hope, some of these collectors are that you're breeding the next round of collectors who are going to keep these these games alive. So um even if you don't buy the products, it is really cool to be able to take licenses that have been stale for so long and, and bring them back to life. So anyways, I probably sound kind of sappy, probably sound kind of fanboyish, no, but that's truly how I feel. So I, that's I my final thought. And I want to say thank you to Michael B for having having me on. That was It was really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Thanks. this has been a really cool week for me. Uh, behind the scenes, I got to talk to John D face to face for the first time. Console kits, Retro Ralph, and Zohar. We all had long talks. Uh, they were very happy when I was finally off the phone because I kept them on too long. But <laughs> I, I really enjoyed uh, getting to talk to you guys for the first time. And thank you yeah. so much for doing this tonight. This really meant the world to me. I can't explain how much fun it was to hang out with you guys. You I know. just got cool story bro in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You can't cool story bro me. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I, I do. I do have a quick, uh, quick thing. So, anyways, me and John were talking about how we were going to do this, and we talked about the co-host idea. Co-host is a real thing still. I am going to do co-host. It's not going to be an every show thing, but every couple of shows, I'm just going to bring somebody randomly on from the community and give them a chance to sit down and just talk about some shit with me. And uh, hopefully, we have fun, and it'll give an opportunity for people to meet some maybe some new people that you haven't met yet, and see some other familiar faces and talk about some fun stuff. Wait, this wasn't a tryout? <laughs> this was, and you won, Justin. You I thought won. I won. You did. You, you bring everyone together. You bring everyone back to the subject. And I, I do appreciate everyone's kind words. You know, I, I understand. You know, I never did, like, everything 100% correct. And I think anyone can change, you know. Um, I came here tonight, and I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen a lot of people. You can put the background music on of console kits. <laughs> okay, because this is coming from the heart here okay thank you for everybody thank you for watching the show thank you for having me michael b thank you for everyone in this panel for coming together for this one special show you know i came here tonight i said i didn't know what to expect uh, i seen a lot of people hating me and i didn't know what to feel about that so i guess i didn't like you much none either <laughs> oh my god this is a movie what movie is this during this fight with zohar i mean a lot of changes happened the way you felt about me oh rocky four okay i got it the way i felt about you <laughs> and here, these are two guys killing each other. Actually, me killing him. Whatever. <laughs> but I guess I that's that. better than 20,000. Okay. You want me what to translate in Russian? I could translate in Russian. What I'm trying to say, <laughs> and my final words, is that if I can change, <laughs> and you can change, <laughs> everybody can change. Hi, Good night, everybody. <laughs> what up, Weekly is back. Michael B. I love y'all. <laughs> Put a one in the comments for Justin. Nail it, chair of rock. Field, there will be no encore. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, Appreciate guys. it. Thanks, Super everyone. fun.